Almost accidentally hung up on the call. <laughs> the the phone symbol comes up green, and then about the time the cursor gets over it, it switches to both the green and the red symbol, and the red symbol is in the place where the green symbol was. Sometimes I'll hit it, and it'll like the thing that says hit yes or no will just stay there even after I've accepted. Yeah, it gets annoying. Is everyone in? Nathan, you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm not all here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, what would everyone be doing normally in their character's life? Uh, like, say it's a normal day, and it's like, whatever, the middle of the day. What? Where would you be? What would you be doing? I'd probably be. Hmm. Middle of the day. Depends on the situation. I'd probably be traveling, like, just in the, in the desert with the caravan. Mm -hmm. uh, I would be in a library, researching. Alright, that'll be interesting. <coughs> what about Nathan? Uh, my character will be sleeping slash masturbating. <laughs> well, I need to know which, because it matters. <laughs> I have seen people do both at the same time. <laughs> It does matter, so... Uh, uh, okay. Yes, it depends on whether or not we'll be discussed with you from the very beginning. <laughs> Let's go with masturbating, well, that'd be funny. I might not notice. What was that, Nathan? <laughs> well, let's go with masturbating, because that sounds funnier. Alright, cool. So... He's dead. Uh, every... T <laughs> like, while you guys are reading, walking in the sands, and masturbating, everything suddenly starts to black out all around you and you become unconscious. And then you're going to wake up later in a new place. You're all on the ground in front of a big fountain just waking up in the middle of the street. And uh, whatever was nearby you got transported with you. So... <laughs> My bed? You're probably gonna get some library books are going to be very <laughs> <Right>. overdue. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, uh, with the furniture I was sitting on transport Bruce with me. Will, Bruce will most likely be in a pile of sand. sand. Yeah. And then, oh, uh, you know, we'll have a naked orc. So... Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I was in bed while I was doing this, so, like, my blanket... Well, your bed's there, then. Okay, cool. Oh, so I should carry it with me. That'd be very yeah, convenient. Is, does he... Well... There's a lot of questions. He's got morning wood, obviously. <laughs> okay. Well, my character's female, so I, I don't know if females can get morning wood. Hard nipples. <laughs> anyway, but uh, there's a question on. I need to ask. Were your clothes on the bed with you? Uh, no, there wouldn't be clothes on the bed. What about your equipment, though? Yeah, uh, where's all your equipment? No problem. Well, probably a bed has at nothing close now. at hand. Yeah, it'll that be is... like leaning up against the bed. Uh huh, a likely story. Well, I have my guitar is laying up against the bed, so. Makes perfect sense. Alright, so what was your equipment? 
Uh, I don't have much. So I'm like a monk sorceress. So yeah. So you wouldn't have really lost out on much, even if you had had all your stuff. As long as he has a spell component pouch, he should be fine. Uh, I, 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 yeah, the only thing I have is a seven branch sword. I'll let you keep your stuff. Awesome. But you don't get any clothes. Uh, what about my money? Your money is still with you. It would have been with your equipment. Gotcha. It, cool. it, it was. It was all over the bed. <laughs> yeah. Just you uh, you like to rub your money all over yourself while you mess with. <laughs> anyway, so, so there are uh, people just walking in the streets, pretty much ignoring you guys. Uh, there are some guards around who are standing over. Nathan, but nobody else really, that, except for maybe a few random, more interesting races. Noel, some goblin, you know. There are also stands set off, up, set up off to the side that have the names <laughs> of different realms. <laughs> um. <laughs> so I guess I'll ask the guards, what's going on here? Uh, you guys are, uh, new people to this city every five days or so randomly people will show up at the fountain and we're here to integrate you into society that sounds ominous what? Wait. what is happening? why is there a she demon right next to me? she's very confusing, please remove her from the area <laughs> <laughs> is the fan, fan, yeah, is the fountain like special or something? Does that have magical powers? I mean, Says that would be don't. speculation. I'm I mean, we, the it looks and... looks pretty much like a really giant fountain. It's big. It has a lamp post at the very tip, but other than that, it just looks like a normal fountain that's just really big. Well, I was asking to the the guards or whoever's standing over me. Yeah, they are. They say it would be speculation. They don't know anything about why people show up here. They're That's not magical. Uh, is that how you guys got here? Just poof by yep. the fountain? No came? one was born here, to our knowledge, except for after other people were transported. It started about 15 years ago. Hmm. What is so. happening? How? So the youngest people here would be 15 years old. <laughs> yes. Hmm. So, hmm. what is happening? Oh, oh I probably kept continuing yeah. to uh, have babies after that. Anyway. Yeah, it's more like the the oldest, the, the oldest children would be 15 years old unless they were transported as a child. Yeah. The oldest, the oldest natives. Yes. Would be 15 years old. But uh, we're gonna get you through customs and all that kinds of stuff. So Wait, if you questions? have any any <laughs> questions over there, there are stands for various realms. If you recognize yours, they will be able to speak to you in your own tongues and get you acclimated. Hmm. Okay. I'm like uh, holding I'll go. all my stuff real close now. <laughs> Customs. <laughs> what is happening? No one's in uh, Yeah, I, I try to like wrap myself in a blanket. The blanket that I had on my bed? Yeah, I mean, you have a blanket. You could fashion it into some kind of toga or robe. Get this disgusting thing away from me. Help. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it'd be too restrictive if I try to like, wrap it around me, so I'm just going to wrap it around my waist and cover my uh, the lower half of my body. Yeah, there's other people who got transported besides you that also look equally confused and, <laughs> you know... They're all just kind of shuffling around, not knowing what to do. Has anybody tried destroying the fountain? I mean, no. What if well, it's the I'm going to go to customs. Well, clearly not, because people have been here for quite some time, and no one's trying to... I kind of want to find like where the hell I am and like talk to my people to see if I can get any information. But anyway, all right. uh, I want to talk more with the guards. Um, has anyone tried to destroy the fountain? Yeah, they're saying obviously it's still there, and I don't know of anyone who's tried to destroy it. Hmm. Well, what if somebody tried to destroy it? Would you try to stop them? 
I mean, it's destroying property at least. Hmm. Well, what if there's a, a heretofore undetected method of getting home that involves the fountain and simply hasn't been found yet? It hmm. might be prudent to not destroy it. Yeah, they're all. Yeah, that's exactly what they would have responded to if you were like, maybe destroying it's the key, and they're like, well, also, if you're wrong, we could be trapped here forever. Uh, Has anybody uh, done any experimentation or research to try to determine how the fountain works, or whether the fountain is actually the, the, the catalyst for the transportation? There's a mage's guild that's working on trying to get us home, but no mm. luck so far. You can inquire to them later after we get you all, you know, let's just say where you need to be. Organized, you know, grouped. Is this a straight, uh, safe place? For safer for some than others. As long as you keep to, uh, you know, the populated areas, you should be fine. Hmm. What do you mean? What kind of dangers are there in the less populated areas? Well, uh, you know, out there, there's rogue people who want to live outside the city's laws, pretty much. And then there is uh, shadow creatures that live in abandoned buildings and what? underneath in the catacombs. Lovely. How awful. Anyway, if you would like to walk this way, uh, guards are starting to gather people up. I pick up my sword and I, you know, follow the guards. There is a goblin that is riding some kind of big mechanical man that is following behind the group. <coughs> Master Blaster? Yeah, Master Blaster, essentially. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> you are being led into a building that seems to just be an empty warehouse with some desks. There's guards sitting at tables doing paperwork. Uh, they're saying that the first person that wants to get through can go ahead and walk up to the desk and start talking to them. Okay, I walk up to the desk. Is anybody, like, upset that I'm topless? They're just there saying... Hmm? My character clearly is very upset. <laughs> what are you upset that I'm a half orc? <laughs> Nathan, name? There's a lot of problems why I'm not okay with any of this. Uh, first name is Digit, last name is Dreamer. Alright. Uh, realm, place of origin? The realm is Faerun, origin is Neverwinter. Alright, and uh, anything else? We see that your height, weight, Race? Uh, uh, I gotta know all that. Alright, um. Uh, height, I'm 6'5. I'm 200 pounds. Uh. You asked my age, right? I'm 16. And, uh, your race? Oh, half orc. Alright. Did you transport anything useful with you? A bed and a blanket. Also, this sword. If you can ever get yourself a house, then you can make use of the bed. The sword, I guess, is good for protection. I suggest getting clothes. Was hoping for something like fruit, or maybe some pack animals. But, uh, anyway... Did, did you expect me to prepare for this? No, but sometimes we get lucky. Yeah. He's stamping yours, and giving you your papers, and saying, move on to the next room, and then calling for the next person. Yeah, this kind of remind me of Half Life, Half Life Two. So yeah, I'm hello, going. hello, I need help. <laughs> uh, name? My name is Tamara Veril. I'm from Galarian. Uh huh. And age, weight, height, race. I need checks. I forgot how um, half elves age. <laughs> Slowly. But, I mean, age works the same. Yeah, how many years have you flown around the Earth? Yep. Mm, no, I'm trying to remember, like, remember like how old like old is. I forgot. Yeah, pretty old. I think, like, 
25 for a half elf is like 15 for a human. Not 25, 20 for a half elf is 15 for a human. Yeah, so it's not as crazy as elves where it's like 120. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid elves. Who needs them? I but anyway. 43. After I you. 5 4. Pre requisite questions. What's your, your realm is Galarian? Galarian. Alright, stamp in your papers and move on to the next room. And then calling forward to the next person. Okay, thank you. This is this is where it becomes extremely noticeable that my character is like rubbernecking everything. Yeah. This is like Saul picking in everything, fascinated by everything, and, and is not at all paying attention to what she's supposed to be paying attention to. He calls out and louder she's taking next. Out, out notes in a little bit. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. And then she walks up to the the, the desk and. Uh, and and just looks at the guy. <laughs> All right. So name. <coughs> oh oh. Uh, it's it's Moander Gulist. And realm place of origin. Uh, I'm 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 from Faerun, and I actually didn't pick a, a home a, an area of that where she was supposed to be from. Just say Neverwinter. Yeah, never winner. That works. All right, because I'm like, if you're just a uh, wanderer, then you could just claim none. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, and it would fit. So. Yeah, just uh, be like I, adventurer, I kind of <laughs> nomad. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just kind of wander. Well, uh, then he's asking you the usual height, weight, race things. Are you anything half special? Elf. Yeah, half elf. All right. Um, and I'm. Actually, kind of short. I see you have I books with you. <laughs> I didn't mean to bring them with me. They actually belong to the. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so what well, kinds of things were you researching? Pretty much anything. Um, I'm 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 sorceress, so I do a lot of. I I, I like to read a lot about different types of magic. Magical but, uh, books? Yeah. He's saying yeah. that he will buy those books off of you. What? God damn it. Oh, really? Because any kind of magical knowledge that might help us get out of here, we appreciate any books, useful items, things we might be able to plant, um, species we could breed and eat, or, you know, anything like that. <laughs> so... You have well, books, so yeah. those are useful. Then the question becomes, what what would she have been researching at that particular moment? Because she's just basically a, a nerd that looks up... She'll start with one thing and go through uh, on a tangent. Oh, I found out this thing about this thing. Now I'm going to look that up, and then I'm going to find out this thing about this thing, and I'm going to look up that detail, and then each thing I, that she uh, finds might take her to a new thing to look up. <laughs> I rolled a die. You have six books with you. Oh, wow. Fifty Shades of Grey Elves. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> he says he'll give you ten go gold per book. Damn. And it's, can I, can you're I gonna, tell if this is a good value for these books? I mean, do you have, you know, any sense of what the economy's like here? That's true. That's true. Also, no, you're going to have to make lots of separate places for money in this. Oh. Because this is going to be Cardic gold. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. You should also mark your money as Faerun gold. Alright. Okay. Faerunian gold. Well... If, in case you care, Kardik is K H A R D I C. I will go ahead and sell him the books because I can't carry them around. Well, but you probably became one of the more rich people in the party now. <laughs> I, I, I can't carry them around, but otherwise, I would be loath to part with them because they're books. Well, they are going to. Bring those over to the Mage Guild 
for them. Anyway, you can, uh, he's stamping your papers and saying you can move on to the next room. Okay. All right, so the next room, you're probably not going to like. <laughs> <laughs> so there seems to be people with hot coals and branding irons in this room. What's going on in here? You all need to be marked and categorized into your specific realms. Um, oh, why are these people so racist? Yep, so... <laughs> Where would I go to deal with uh, this? Everywhere. You either take the tattoo or the burn, but you're getting marked either way. Uh, which one hurts more? The burn. I'll go with the burn. Alright, so they're burning an F what? into your skin, and R then a number... I'll get a tattoo. <laughs> Can they burn an F U into my into my skin? Nope. Wait, wait, where are they placing it? They're putting it on your uh, shoulder. Does that have to be my shoulder? Uh, where would you prefer it? You can um, request it to be somewhere. <laughs> but they're only gonna do things that make sense. Uh, the side of my left butt cheek. Nope. Oh, really? It has to be something that you can easily show to people to identify. I can show my ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, show it. Like, potentially high chest, the arm somewhere, your face if you want to be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know. If the left they can put it out. on your hand as well. So, I'm assuming they won't do a tramp stamp either. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> uh, let's do a high chest. Alright, so you can just kind of pull down your shirt a little and you can show it. Well, I'm not wearing yeah. a shirt, so I'm, I'm still topless. Yeah, I mean... They're oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I get it. And then they're uh, coming to you, Bruce. What's it gonna be? Uh, I've had tattoos before, so I'm okay with a tattoo. Alright, they are going to uh, have you being tattooed with your number, any specific area you prefer. Okay. Um, I guess my arm. Alright, and then last but not least. Uh, definitely a tattoo. All right. On the Where? arm. Arm? On All the right. arm. So we got two F's and a G. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're noticing, Bruce, that your uh, your number is significantly lower than theirs. What's my number? So your it... number is going to be about, like, somewhere in the hundreds or, like, high 80, 90s. Okay. And then Bruce's is going to be, like, in the tens. Hmm. Like... Somewhere in the like ten to twenty range. Um, out, okay. out of character, can we just pick our number, or do you want? To you can or? pick your number as long as it fits within that category. Hmm. Has to be kind of in the between one hundred and two hundred or lower. Uh. And then his is very. I low. feel like that's going to be heavy number discrimination. <laughs> I'm curious, just from looking at um, at the Nathan, what's your character's name again? Uh, digit. Digit at, at digits number and then my number. Are we in chronological order? You are. Are we still in the call? Yeah, I'm still here. Why is gone? Because the um. That makes because sense. My Skype says the call ended. Okay. That's I mean, oh, so mine says it as well. Weird. I'm still <laughs> here. Me too. <laughs> I was wondering why. Still talking. Oh, mine just said it too. Uh, oh, so yeah, it's just called what? I was wondering why you just randomly said that. Okay. Um, well, that makes sense then. If their numbers are? are closer, okay, that, that means. Yeah. All right, then Nathan's is 108 and yours is 109. That means yeah. there's very few Galarians here. Yes, that is what oh. that means. Oh. That's why you're an F because you're Faerun, and I'm a G because yep. I'm Galarian. Huh. So right it's really weird. It means drawing, it, they draw a shit ton of people from Faerun, or there are many Galarians dead, or they uh, ran away. Or actually, yeah, Faerun is also like the second lowest. But they're oh my god. Well, I don't know that, but 
you know, it's kind of funny that like there's so much more, there's so much less of mine. So we are the lowest, pretty much. So you're gonna you be have to rare... think about how fast the population grows when about five people, five to ten people, transport in every five days for fifteen years. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, and if it's pulling from everywhere, this is almost <laughs> this. This reminds me of the tales of the floating vagabond. <laughs> Except, of course, instead of going through a doorway and, and ending up there with nothing, it's you're by the fountain and you have your stuff. I guess. Well, There's a lot of weird stuff that happened with this. For yeah. instance, I did not expect to wake up to a half-naked hobag. I was completely <laughs> naked. I am not hobag. We don't know that. We're just going to judge you by what you wear. It was a sleeping? <laughs> Obviously, you deserved it. What? Some sweaty creature. Uh, I, I was... Oh, yeah, is completely unfazed by by uh, uh, <laughs> half orc. Yeah, half orc. Yeah. Half orc. I was disgusted. <laughs> anyway, His name I'm gonna forget like a whole bunch of times before I find it because I, I don't see it in front of me. Digit. 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 Yeah. Oh, I need to write that down. I so typed in the chat. Out. There we go. And then, uh, yeah. So after you've all been marked and other people are being processed, you're being led out to the back, where the goblin is waiting for you on his big metal man. Who's number one? You don't know. Do they know? Well, I mean, they might have died, but it's like everyone has a number, so... Mm. <coughs> Were there... Oh, I know. How many people came? Five? Yeah. Okay. Can I hey, add the uh, assumption that there were no other Galarians in who came with? No, there weren't. Okay. Wait, who are they going to? They are probably from Greyhawk. Greyhawk. Hmm. But, um, yeah. He what is, is their letter? Is it GR? Yeah. No, it's G. Okay. Oh. But mine's also They're just. Yeah, you're gonna get confused there. <laughs> But since your number is really low, you're probably not the right one. Yeah, but I'd probably end up talking to them anyway, just because of, like, small similarity. Yeah. yeah. I would probably make the assumption, but it's, um... Continue. Anyway, he's introducing himself as Gizmo, and his metal man is Luther, like, A71. So, he's saying that, uh, he's here to get you all assigned to a certain uh, allegiance, essentially. Everyone has to claim a allegiance to fit into society. Oh, yeah, okay. Allegiance to what? Uh, well, most people just pick their home realms guild, but some people don't have one here, so <coughs> I'll give you the choices. <coughs> right now, the Cardic Empire is in charge of this place because they have all the power, the most people, and influence. So they basically came in, made laws, and then just started lording over everyone. Hmm. So you can oath bound to them and join the Cardic Confederacy, and basically you'll be one of them and you'll get a separate tattoo at, or burn that signifies your sworn fail fealty to them. Do and then, uh, there is the Magician's Academy, which, if you know magic, or even if you just want to do paperwork, if you're non-magical, you can always go there. And then there's Eberron Coalition, Greyhawk Union, Faerun Combine, the Craft Guilds, and the Refugees, which is everyone else that doesn't have one. <laughs> is there some type of monk guild? Nope. Really? No monks? Nope. I would probably end up joining the Refugees or the Magician Guild. Can I ask him some questions about them? Yeah. How many are in the Magician Guild, would you say, and how many Refugees are there? The Magician's Guild is probably the second great powerhouse, mostly because of magic. They can... They didn't like that the, you know, Cardic people took over and stuff, but they are like... Is he telling they, me this? All, all yeah. This? Okay. Yeah. They are basically, like, the laws kind of pretty, like, help people, but they're a little bit unfair. 
they're just pretty much focused on trying to get everyone out of here and ignoring everything else that goes on. So, hey, I, I say to the, the five of us who showed up here, um, we should probably stick together. So, we got to see what we should do. Magician's you, Guild, I'm on my way. Yeah, let, let me finish, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm already considering that idea myself. Yeah, well, there's books there, so... Uh, I wasn't quite finished, what I was saying, alright, um... Do you think we should all join the same guild? Or do you think we should join a separate guild in the hopes that maybe we can get, like, different resources from each guild? My character does not like you. Well, if you have <laughs> any kind of crafting abilities, the craft guild is always the good one. You can make money. Uh, Gizmo is saying that he is part of the refugees, and so there's always jobs for more shady dealings there, if you catch my drift. Okay. Drugs? Is that what you're saying? Drugs? There's drugs there? He's ignoring you. <laughs> He's so, also um, saying that if you see anyone in Cardic Colors, or that you... Think might be one, you're going to have to address them as Lord and Lady, or else you'll be penalized. So, um, there's the magicians who are trying to find a way to get out, and there's refugees who are pretty much just free reign? Yeah. Okay. They're, like, essentially a thieves' guild. Okay, I'm gonna join the refugees. In that case. And he said he's a refugee as well? Yeah. Okay, I would like to join him then. He seems like a seems like a capable person with his machinery. I would like to... Uh, so if I understand this correctly, there are guilds based on either location where you're from or your specific skill set? Yep, but you can join either. Huh. Yeah, I mean, most of the uh, realm-based ones are just, like, s a place to live. Like, there'll be a warehouse with a cot where they give people some basic clothes, supplies, and shelter where you can live. Hmm. With other people from your realm, so. Because, hmm. you know, if you want to get an actual house for yourself, you have to go and ask the cards and fill out all the paperwork and, you know, hope they like you. <laughs> what kind of people do the cards like? You don't know. Do you know? Uh, well, if you're asking him specifically... Yes, I'm asking him specifically. He's a uh, goblin, correct? Yes. Yes, I'm asking him specifically. Well, they don't like, uh, you know, non-humans. Hmm. And they, uh, tend to like people who are oath-sworn to them. So, can a non-human be oath-sworn to them? Yes. And will they like you then, or is it still a problem? I mean, they'll probably still be, like, your lesser, but they'll mm. treat you with more respect, and you won't have to call them lord and lady if you're bound to them. How do you feel about the the cards? This is just between us. You don't need to... This doesn't have well, to go for Well, I, uh, I think they're bullies, and whenever they have any problems, they make them disappear, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I already dislike them. Yeah. They're basically the corrupt rulers. Government. They just came in and started doing things their own way, and no one else gets a say in it. There are so many of them, apparently. I have a question about the different guilds. Like, how do they interact with each other? Like, if, someone, if two people from two separate guilds are hanging out together, would that be an issue with anyone, or do people just not care, for the most part? As long as they don't like discuss business that's private then it doesn't matter if sometimes if guilds need to cooperate to get a job done that can be done so you know hmm. Hmm. Uh, if you want to know more about this place we're in I can also tell you about that uh, hold on we're still talking about the guild so we'll move on to that a little bit later Alright, well, I guess we all should join the same guild. So you guys are going to, like, the, the Magician's Guild, correct? It might be no, I'm going advantageous to, to all, oh, join, yeah. all join individual guilds simply. Like like you mentioned, it would increase the scope of uh, 
resources to which we would have access as a group. Yeah, but it might, you know, come back to haunt us if, like, we tell each other, like, secrets about our guilds that, um, we're not supposed to be talking about. Well, and then you, don't, you know, don't, there's don't always share guild secrets. That's a pretty simple solution to that. There's also the wild card of Shad, and we don't know if he'll just show up at the fountain later and be like, now where am I gonna go? Uh... Well, in character, I don't know about Chad. Chad doesn't. Yeah. Uh, he could. He, in, in any case, he could have already been here too. He could have shown up before and be yeah. sort of established, and we don't know it. Uh, but um, I'm leaning more toward the the Mage Guild, the Magic Guild. All right. Hmm. But, um, I just simply already because, want to join the refugees. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's because of the, the, the potential for information. Is there a particular reason why there's no monk guild? There aren't enough monks, and uh, even if there were, they would be from different, you know, disciplines. So, the, no one's set it up, and it's not like there's a huge call for a monastery or anything. If you wanted to be the one to spearhead that campaign, by all means... But, you know, you're one of the one, you're lesser race to the people in power, and also you're in the minority from Fair Faerun. <laughs> so you're in a very bad political position. Uh, yeah, I, I just personally think it's weird that there's not a lot of monks. But anyway, I'll just, um... I guess I'll swear allegiance to the Faerun, Faerunians. The Faerun Combine? Yes, the Combine. Well, you got your own bed already. It's going to be better than the ones they probably have. Cool. You'll just have to drag it where you want it. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm strong, so I can just pick it up and move it wherever I please. Uh, Alright, well, he'll be able to basically give you a map and be like, make an X where your chosen alliance will be. Alright. Uh. I marked the, um, Faerun Carbine. Com oh my god, I'm terrible at pronouncing things. Yeah. Combine? Yes. Alright. And then, uh, you know, you can mark the fountain on it as well, if you wanted. Yeah, yeah, it's a reference point, just label it a fountain. And, uh, guess what? It's in the exact center of town, imagine that. Probably not significant. <laughs> Probably not significant. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> uh. He's also drawing basically a circle within the center that be is like this is the populated area and everywhere else is abandoned. Uh. Yeah, I remember when I first played this campaign, um, I actually called the Cardians the uh, Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> Randy got really pissed off every time I, like, say something wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, this is creature. This is creature called a Rot Weaver, and I actually called it a Rottweiler. The Kardashians <laughs> were famous for, like, a year. Really, really famous, and had their own show and everything for, like, a year before I knew who they were. <laughs> always, <laughs> always hated it. I never watch reality trash. Oh, I, I wish I hadn't. <laughs> I finally was like, who the hell are these people that everybody keeps talking about? If there's anyone in that line of famous, like Paris Hilton and the Kardashians, they're always famous for just being rich and stupid. Yes. Uh, and I can't... And like, I... I you, you, you watch stuff of, that they do and say it and everything, and you want to simultaneously pull your own hair out and slap the shit out of them and shake them until they gain some sense. And none of those things will be good. I wish I could go back in good. time and shake them when they were children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let's keep on top. <laughs> are we to do that? That might be a really bad thing. That might have been the problem in the first place. I'm sure, they were drunk. Yeah, I agree with Gaz. Back on topic. Um, yeah. So, alright, we got I guess we got our, um, guilds, our allegiance. Yep. 
Yep. <coughs> so do we get it? Get another tattoo? I'm so we get when we get nope. to, to each. You don't get a tattoo for each line. It's only another separate tattoo if you're part of the Cardix. Oh, oh okay. okay. So you can go off to your separate areas. But whose idea is to label everyone? Like, why do they think that's important? Because they can tell who you are and where you came from and how they should treat you. So it has nothing to do with how to get back home. No, it's the Cardic Empire law. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is unjust law. Yeah. Discrimination is normal. Yeah. Yep. One of, somebody is uh, running out of the branding room, and uh, a guard is chasing them, and he pulls out a, uh, you know, a weapon, some of you might not know what it is, and then fires it, and they die. What kind of sorcery okay. is this? <laughs> That's bizarre. Yeah, he didn't want to be branded, so, you know. But the weapon... Yeah, it was Blasted. a pistol. Yeah. I know what it is. Yeah. Anyone who uh, has ever encountered that in their setting would know it's a pistol, but otherwise you're like, something that explodes and people die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Magic! Scenery. What yeah. kind of a wand is that? It has a strange handle. Most guards of the Cardic Confederacy have... Uh, a pistol and a sword, so they have ranged and melee. And got guns. Yeah. Oh, and here is he tried now to run away from uh, notebook again. <laughs> running away from branding, couldn't have that. Is he like dead, dead or what? Oh yeah, and they're yeah, dragging him heads. away. He's only mostly dead. Uh, my character runs over to the creature to see if it actually is dead. I mean, uh, make a heal check? Yeah. Um, That's a big hole in his face. Because he's dead. Wait, I'll get some digital dice. I don't have any dice with me. Mercy. I rolled a 16. 16 plus... What would my heal check be? I think I do have heal, do I? Huh. I done playing ranks and heal. Whatever. It's so not a, um... It's, um... So it'll be you eight can do it if you don't have the skill. Oh, no, but I have, I have 18 in heal. Or, that'll be 18 altogether. He seems to, uh... Be pretty much fading fast. Okay, I I have some ability to like touch people to stabilize them. What is What's he? It? What's it called? Um, let's see where's that what is it called? Gage, what is he? He's a, a monk sorcerer. No, no, the small thing. Oh, ran away. Crap. Oh, it was just a normal person. Oh, is he human? What? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. He just didn't know, so he said creature. Well, um, I'm gonna go up to the orc. It's like, what are you trying to do? Loot him? Disgusting. <laughs> Back off! <laughs> to save his life! He's, he's alive? I don't know, like, look at him. He's fading fast. I'm trying to do that, that test that stabilizes to, someone. Uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna look around oh for any of the Cardic people in this area. Oh, I have sacred touch! It's from, it's a trait, character trait. Well, well there you go. Are any of the Cardic people looking at him, or this in general? No. Okay, I'm going to uh, um, cast Stabilize on him. Well, he's already stabilized. Oh. Yeah, he already did it. Oh, okay. Did you? Are you healing him, or do you stabilize him? So just, just stable. He's stable, so he's not gonna bleed anymore. No, but he's uh, still out of it. Okay. I'm they nice. are still going to drag him back to the branding room and put his brand on him. Okay. Right, well, that's, that's, fine. That. that's normal, but I'm I'm going to I'm going to go with to make sure he's okay. Okie dokie. Well, they, 
you know, s tattoo him, and then they uh, basically put him on a cot. Hmm. He'll wake up eventually. Yeah. Okay, in that case. Whoa, what's his brand, by the way? It was uh, Faerun. Oh. Okay. He's relevant what, to me. What are my people? It's a good thing okay. I saved him. One of the F's. <laughs> for fuckers. Not the G's for the great goddesses of the world. For gangster. <laughs> for gangster. <laughs> gangster bitches. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to leave and go back with uh, Leon. Yeah, I, I go back to our group. Group? I'm, I'm yeah. one of the, the guy with the giant robot. <laughs> he a Rafugi. Yeah. Give me one second. I like the Rafugis. Pretty cool. So, after we sign up for our um, respective guilds, do you guys want to meet up somewhere to uh, discuss stuff? Because I still think we should stick together. <laughs> well, the only place you know of is the fountain, so... Well, where do the refugees stay? Yeah. Just anywhere? Pretty much? In the populated no, area? No, there's a... Uh, you're getting pointed in the direction. You are all getting a separate map with your chosen location written out. But I'm saying the only place you all know already from this place is the fountain. So that would be the obvious meeting place if you were and to choose. And the one. bookworm also is a half elf. Ah uh, yes. Do you look like one, like visibly, not hiding anything. Yeah, yeah, except that she's unusually short for a half elf. Okay. How unusually short? Like, are you like a small character? I'm like five foot two. Oh. I thought that, um, was it Pathfinder has like tall elves instead of short elves? Yeah. That's Half pretty... elves are, I think, five, four is like the smallest. Yeah. yeah. You have to, you have to remember humans range in height, like have a great variety in height. Mm -hmm. And so, her human parent was short. Uh. I prefer short, short elves. No particular reason. It, well, I've played in different settings with where elves were different height. Like first edition D and D elves were tall, hmm. and then second edition D and D elves were short. <laughs> and it was weird going from tall to short. So it's not that weird going back from short to tall, I guess. <clears throat> but this one's short for a, com a completely different reason. Like yeah. she's short on the human side. Okay. So what time do you guys want me back at the fountain? Hmm. I suppose we could could give it a couple of couple of hours just to get settled into our, our respective uh, guilds or whatever these are and and uh, get everything straightened out so we have uh, so we know where we're going to be staying so on what our associations are going to be okay where are the other two going the um uh i think we're just going to our guilds and then we're going to meet back after we're all settled i'll think about it okay well uh then your Nathan is arriving at his uh, basically I want to describe them as basically barracks because it's very much just kind of the bare necessities and it isn't anything lavish hmm. and then um, you know she's coming to a big tower very cliched uh, for our Spellcaster going to the Magician's Guild. That has a gate around it, and there are, you know, guards out front. She just walks up to the guard and introduces herself and, and says, um, I, I, I was told that I needed to uh, stay in affiliation, and this is the only familiar thing. Um, Besides where I came from. Have spellcasting abilities? Yes. 
Alright, well we can always use more magic users. And they are opening the gate and saying just head up to the receptionist and we'll find a job for you. Alright, and then she heads on into the receptionist. Alright, she's asking basically all... Basi she's asking for your papers first and seeing that. Wait, did we get papers? Yeah, you all okay. got stamped got papers that they handed to you. Okay, then I show her my papers. <laughs> Alright, and uh, she's handing them back and saying, what kind of abilities can you do? Uh, I'm, um, I'm a sorceress. Um, I uh, know a little bit of alchemy and a little bit of crafting. Um, and I'm a scribe. Interesting. Well, we can definitely use all of those skills. What would you prefer to do in your free time? Would you rather be doing, you know, reception work or doing papers, transcribing things? Do you want to be doing mostly alchemy, spell casting? Well, um, oh, and I'm also, I, I, know, so I know a bit of spellcraft as well, um, but I could transcribe. Yeah, so if anyone needs anything written out, and basic, you know, bookkeeping, that'd be fine. We can station you somewhere in the library. That would be wonderful. You have access to any of our equipment and resources, and uh, if we need you for something, we will call upon you. So feel free to make yourself at home. Welcome to the Magician's Guild. She perks right up at the mention of the library and, and uh, um, thanks the hall. receptionist and... Huh? Mm, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and heads right off to uh, the, 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 where she's being stationed, right off to the library. Alright, so basically you'll be able to research any kind of magic and magic-like things. And uh, we will move to Bruce. And, uh, you're being pointed towards a bar. Yeah! It's called the Soggy Refugee. Oh yeah. <laughs> My favorite. There's a, you know, you go in, there's a bartender and some people drinking as well as Gizmo goes and uh, puts his steam jack, which is what that creature is that he rides into the stables, and is hanging out back in there. Mm -hmm. There's also one female in the bar who mm -hmm. seems to be playing cards with oh. other people. Okay. That's the layout. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> What? Oh no, 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 I'm just, I'm just looking at something. You stay focused. Well, I'm not involved, I'm not even there, so technically... Hey, 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 we need to know with. for posterity what everyone else is doing. <laughs> okay. If I'm like, hey, do you remember that thing? And you're like, I don't know, I was off on Facebook or something, I'm gonna be like, bad. <laughs> bad. Well, it's being recorded, so... Whatever. I can always look it up later. Be a professional. Anyway, so what are you doing, Bruce? Do you, are you still on the phone? Someone was calling me on my phone. Well, hurry up! It's not me. <laughs> yes. Um. It can't be. I'm gonna ask the barkeep. He's like, so this is where the refugees stay. He's is like, it? yep. My name's Michael. And I will help you get settled here. Okay. If, what are your specific talents? Um, I am actually a fortune teller. Well, I mean, there's always people to hustle. As yes, you can see, is, we uh, have true. somebody already doing that at the tables over there. Our resident yeah. gambler. I made I made that assumption as well. Yep. So you can set up shop in the bar and do fortunes, or uh, sell your trade out on the street if you want to set up a stand somewhere. But uh, okay. 
you can get a room somewhere up here and then uh you know you can come back here if we have any need for your talents on a job i mean i don't know if you have any thieving skills or stealth or anything that would be useful but i could maybe do something but pr pretty Plus. much everyone's welcome to join this guild as long as uh you know you're not a card yeah how often do they uh, show up well, they come about once a month to collect taxes, so... Yes, they do. Disgusting. We're all just trying to survive, <laughs> so... Yep. That'll make things harder for us. Uh, well, thank you for the uh, hospitality. I'll probably just set up in that corner over there. All right. Try to get myself at least comfortable. There's so much. It's, it's, uh, all of this is really hard to deal with. In all of your rooms that you are going to have at these different guilds, you're going to have a bed, but also a box that looks. basically has a door on the front of it, and when you open it, there is a substance called mana in it that will basically make you sustained but is flavorless and is basically nothing. You're not eating anything, you're just basically getting your sus sustenance for the day, but it tastes like nothing, it doesn't make you feel like you've eaten, except to keep your body alive. That's basically how everyone's been surviving, is magical food. Okay. And uh, the various things that they can get from teleportation that plant you can make food with crops and things but there's not enough to feed everyone so most people have to just suffice with the mana unless they want to spend money mm -hmm. okay. so, so you much can board. eat for free yeah alright so uh, after you guys get all settled in you can do whatever you want well, they said uh, we should go to the fountain after we get set up. Oh, well, so then. And I kind of want to, like, it would be nice to see a familiar face at this point. So. Well, I thought I'll you gave me because I'm a half work. Not you. The other one. Well, the flag, it was like they just said, hey, here's your cot, and then we just moved on. Is that what happened with, my, with uh, me and my guild? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Because, uh,. You're that's what your that's what your guild is. It's a re it's basically where all of the people from that realm go to live. The second smallest realm. Yep. <clears throat> well, I'm heading to the uh, yeah. Um. All right everyone else or yeah, do you have something that you wanted to uh, do at your guilds before heading out I think once I get myself familiarized with the location then I'll head to the fountain alright and then I assume that Nathan also is heading out yeah well I assume you get there at different times since there wasn't anything specified and uh, some people probably had been waiting. I guess I'd be waiting the longest. Yeah. There's nothing for me to do. do yeah. Nathan would have got there first. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get started doing too much reading in the library because then I would forget what time it was and miss, miss the time we were supposed to meet. Actually, before I, I would go to the um, <coughs> fountain, I'd probably go buy some clothes first. That would probably be a good idea. So, uh, you can go either to the Crafters Guild or try to find a clothing store somewhere. I'll go to the clothing store. Alright, well, you're looking around and, uh, you're eventually being pointed in the direction of a store with clothes. Okay. Because most people that see you are like, hey, you should go buy some clothes. <laughs> There's a clothing <laughs> store right over there. Okay, I point my booze in the direction of a clothing store. Alright. 
they slap you in the face. Anyway. <laughs> you're gonna go there and gonna be like, I would like to buy clothes. And you're gonna say they're gonna ask for money that you don't have. Well, I have money. I don't know what the, the transfer rates are. Alright, so, uh, you're in the store, and the guy's like, oh, well, I see you're in need of my services. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, what can I get for you? Um, for the time being, the cheapest thing you can that will fit me. Oh well, I mean, I can give you some peasants' clothes. Uh, actually, do you have like a burlap sack? Yes, that's peasants' clothes. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So I'll, I'll cut some like armholes and a neck hole. That'll be that'll be perfect. He's asking Boom for. Uh, What'd you say? He's asking for a silver. <coughs> One silver? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of steep for a peasant's clothes, but whatever. I give him a silver. Yeah. He's saying you can go now. That's <laughs> kind of unfriendly, but whatever. Um, I might be back soon. Sure you will. Um. Relax, sack. Well, now he doesn't have to hold his clothes on with a blanket. Yeah. I think I might buy something else. I just want to buy a dagger. Uh, well, this is a clothing store. Well, I mean, I was talking to DM. Oh, well, I mean, you have to go find one. <laughs> yes, I, I go, I go looking for it. <laughs> you are uh, finding <laughs> a shop. <laughs> well, you said it like he would have one. <laughs> I also want a dagger. Well, I don't have one, so get out. <laughs> the customer service in these parts is... Oh my god! Fabulous. Okay. <laughs> alright, all right, I'm back, I'm back. Uh, alright, so I, I go looking for a weapon shop. I ask people for directions for the nearest weapon shop. All right, you're getting pointed in the right direction. <laughs> These are uh, all Cardic owned places. Oh. Uh, are there any like Faerun owned establishments? Oh no. None. You have to go to the crafters area. Uh, I'll go to the crafters area. Okay. Not doing. They didn't want your money anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, you're at the Crafters Guild, yeah. and it's pretty much, they've got crafters of every type. So he's taking me to a blacksmith. So do they have like, um, do they have like a, a ready-made dagger, or do they have to like make it first? I mean, they have some basics, but anything special would have to be made special. Alright, perfect. Alright, I will just like to buy a simple dagger. Alright, uh... What have you got? Um, money. How much does it what cost? Kind? What kind of money? I have Faerunian money. Alright, well that'll be, uh, 40. 40 gold. 40 gold. Seems kind of steep. Well, that's the price. Uh, huh. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I just leave. Okay. Pretty cool. <laughs> I go to the fountain. Get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell him to kiss my grits before I leave. Okay. <laughs> Bring him over here. <laughs> <laughs> Now you have to figure out where your grits are. Yeah. Bitch, <laughs> now. Which part of the anatomy is that? I don't know, but either way. I'm you have to have someone from the south. 
Um, I have a question about how money works. Uh, the um, the conversion from like silver to gold and whatnot. It's just, it's a ten system, right? It's not hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a ten system. Okay. use the restroom. Okay. Mm. Everyone died. I'm back. You guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. Alright, mm -hmm. so I'm back at the fountain. What's everyone else doing? Walking to the fountain. Yep, everyone will be getting there. So, continue role playing. I don't know what else is there than the role plays. There ain't no one else at the film because they come like every day, is it? It's every five days. Five days. Every five days. All right, so there wouldn't be anybody here unless somebody else no, came back. But what I'm saying is, you're all gonna eventually be there. So continue with whatever your plan is. Okay. All right, so um, I'm correct in assuming that majority of the people here are human, correct? Uh, a lot of them, yes. Majority is definitely humans. There are elves and uh, various other races, but they are definitely in the minority. Mm -hmm. There is no, like, massive orc tribe somewhere. Hmm. A shame. That's because <laughs> most of the time, if uh, the creatures wake up and are actively hostile, they get put down immediately. Uh, makes sense. So, yeah, a lot Let's of the way, a lot of the really monstrous creatures get killed in their sleep. Oh, so like, if an ogre propped up, like, they wouldn't yeah, give him a chance. If just... something that could, like, cause major damages and death, they just kill it outright. Hmm. So does anything... It's a pit fiend. Let's not wake it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not wake it up. Anything like that pop in while we're... While we're sitting sitting around the fountain, another group of people pop in, or is it just like once a day? It's every five days, so we're yeah. the we're the day. <laughs> Literally, just went over it. <laughs> so we don't have it's just, it's just every five days. We don't have to worry about anything popping in while we're sitting there. Yeah. Yep. Yes. And plus, some this pop in. And, um, <laughs> it's like the it. morning of the fifth day, so you don't have to be like on the day that people teleport in. It doesn't happen constantly. Hmm. And it's like clockwork, huh? Yep. Interesting. 
Yeah, it was like it was designed to do that. <laughs> Stop dropping hits, Gaz! <laughs> and of course, I'll bet it has nothing to do with the fountain, it's just a, a no, feature of the world. No, not at all. <laughs> but, the characters don't know that. No. Yeah. But deductive reasoning is strong. You know, the cards are in charge, they set this whole thing up. So there's a very, and they like documenting things, so I think while well, the magicians are like working on some type of magical um, way of getting out, I think we should uh, <coughs> make some contacts with the cards, maybe find a card that's less racist than the others. I don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like them either. They're, they're Is there anybody that you do like? I don't trust them. I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh well. Starting off strong. Anyway. Potato sack looking thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we should like you know, make friends with the card. Have them, him or her, like just try to get us like copies or something of um, just give us access to all this information that they'll have because there's got they gotta be storing a lot of information so we can fr probably like find patterns. Um, find some discrepancies, stuff like that. Well, I mean, you can always go and ask, but uh, doesn't mean they'll give you what you want. I imagine there are some things they don't want us knowing. Maybe. Everybody has something they don't want everyone else knowing. That's there are people in the Mages era guild that came at the same time as the cards. Oh! Oh! I will um, screw the cards, just hang out with the Mages. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Mages? Yeah. I'm okay with that. How how was the Mages guild, uh, whatever your name is? No, it's, it's very friendly. I have a job now there. Um, I mean, I, I'm not sure... How much I I have I don't really know a lot about it yet, but it seems pretty normal. Yep. Mm -hmm. well, I'll be able to I'll be able to in my spare time I'll be able to do similar research to what I was doing before. So that's yeah. good. And there's always a access to alchemy tables and anything else you need. Mhm. Mm so I'll be able to if we do have to do any searching around or or it end up in any kind of conflict, I'll be able to prepare. Yeah, as well as mages might have information about this world and how it works. Yep, and I may be able to find out you know, that's one thing that I intend to research first, obviously, is what I can find out that they already know and see if maybe I can help figure out how to get people home and or how to better survive here. Are there any clerics here? I mean, if there were, they would probably be part of the uh, Mages Academy. Clerics? Yep. Huh. Are there any temples or anything? Nope. Really? So, 15 yep. years people have been here and nobody's turned to religion? Nope. People have turned to drugs, though. <laughs> Perhaps they've turned away from religion because they're here. <laughs> that <laughs> is also an. That is also a very common thought process as well, is that this is some kind of cosmic joke played on them. Yeah. That this is all for the f fun of some god torturing them. How did I end up here? Where's think, my family? Think about, how, think about like how many... Oh my god, there'd be like so many religious fights if there was like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. That's, ex uh. that's exactly why they don't allow it. Is because there would be so many different people from different worlds coming and starting churches and... Having fights. Be Oh, yeah. so, so the cards forbid it? They don't like... Really? They don't outright forbid it, but they're just... They discourage it. People, and if they want to practice by themselves, whatever. But they are going to just not let people have access to buildings for churches. Hmm. Because, like, if there's religious wars, imagine how many religions there are, considering this is many different worlds, like, smashed together. And maybe they had an issue like that before, and then they had to, like, shut it down, because it was crazy. And it's not like religious people get fanatical or anything. 
Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Never happens. Never happens. Never. They're all <laughs> civil people that use reasoning and logic. Everyone. So, does so hold on. Like religious people in this world, do they do they feel that they still have a connection to their gods or goddesses? Um, they don't really. I mean, they can uh, they can still use their magic, but uh, they can't like speak to their gods or anything. Hmm. That sucks. Yeah, good thing none of us are I'm religious. Wrong. I'm religious. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yes, because well. the the, the Varetians have a god. Uh, see, I'm not. I only believe in science. <laughs> <laughs> science and magic are very weird. <laughs> That's for sure. Pretty much everything you understand is science, but everything you don't understand is magic. Yes. I feel the That's exact same exactly way. what it is. Um. So, like clerics rest spells, they can get more spells after they uh, rest, correct? They get their spells back. When they rest? Yes. Alright, so being a cleric in this world works exactly as the same thing as every other world, correct? It's the same as it always is. I'm just making sure. Well, that's good. At least you can heal and use your magic and probably turn undead if there are undead. Is there anyone here? I'm sure that's probably what the shadow creatures are. <laughs> they're or they're just like different. shadows. Or they're even yeah. like a more dramatic thing than like ever. It's like, maybe it's the spirits of children, or just the voices of creatures from the beyond. Who knows? Yeah. Nobody does. Yeah. I wonder if anyone has a curious experience about them. If there's anything uh, where we can get information from, it's one of the Magician's Guild. Yeah, let's, let's, go, let's head to the Magician's Guild. Maybe they have some, um... <coughs> some jobs for us as well, because, uh... If it's forty dollars for a dagger, I think it's gonna be really expensive for me buying weapons and armor and whatnot. Why are you oh, buying yeah. a dagger? I, I just wanted to carry around some so I can like cut things with it. Like if somebody don't yeah. you have a sword? He wants to cut stuff with his daggers. <laughs> <laughs> Slide Fine. away from him just a little bit. <laughs> no, it's, it's, that's not what I mean. Like. Wow. wow like of course. <laughs> if we come oh, across a barbarian, I'm not surprised. Typical <laughs> orc. In case we come across someone who's tied up, all right? We want to untie that person. <laughs> I want to untie a sword. Well, I don't want to just swing a sword. I got tied to a chair. I just pull out a dagger real quick and you know, snip, snip. So you want to be able to torture people? No. <laughs> That's exactly what my character thinks. It's like, wow, look at this guy. Clearly a violent creature. Typical. I, I want to cut the ropes, okay? In that particular situation. Typical. Uh, cut the rope. Writing in her little notebook. Hate They're called rope. Artery. Hate rope. <laughs> rope fist. <laughs> Bring me the coils of war. <laughs> Alright. So... Cool. Yeah, are you guys all heading over there then? Hey, wh where are the money changers? There aren't any. That doesn't even make sense. Everybody's coming with a different kind of money. You don't have a money changer? Yeah, so you get your money, and it's worthless, and we have our money that's awesome, and you just get to be poor. That's how it works. <laughs> what? Well, that's helpful. Oh, this, this world's ridiculous. No money changers? <laughs> no monks? This is... I mean, you can just spend all of your money, and then earn other new monks. money. There probably are other monks, but they don't, like, announce themselves as, like, yeah. I'm a monk, find me. Everyone else announces themselves as a magician's guild. They do magic. Magic, magic is a magic very large thing. thing. Yeah, it covers all different types of people. Yeah, well, there are people who are, like, hand-to-hand -hand combatants. And yeah, there's always not a warrior's guild. <laughs> there isn't? Why, why? No. That's even weirder. There's all sorts of warriors out and about, and no one form a guild? Well, nope. maybe you should start one. I don't know, no one's gonna listen so to me. The Arctic people have one, called an army. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> essentially. 
Yeah, a card of confederacy, that's the warrior's guild. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so are all of the guards human? Yes, all oh. the guards are human. And racist. Yes, <laughs> I mean, not all of them are racist, but they all are part of that faction that most of them are. So they probably are racist hat. to keep up appearances. Yeah, they are just, they go along with it because they would be ostracized if they weren't. Yeah, there's a few Canadian ones that are just like, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, I don't want to be beating you, but my partner, he'll tell people. He'll, he'll tell people, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, smack, smack. <laughs> Damn, I'm you really not, not enjoying smack. myself. Smack, smack. run around in that. <laughs> in the Magician's Guild we go. <laughs> okay. So you're at the Magician's Guild. When does this org Do they let me bring my friends in? Uh, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Sure. Even the F org? Yeah. Cool. We're not racist around here. Awesome. <laughs> as long as you are in the pursuit of knowledge and information and magic, and getting yeah. the fuck out of here, then you're welcome. Just, uh, just be on your best behavior. Don't uh, be a bitch. Don't don't go cutting any of the ropes. In here. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably. <laughs> They're like vital we checked. <laughs> we checked your paperwork on the way in, so we know who you are. <laughs> uh, They're performing you do vital tasks. <laughs> All right. So now we're at the magician's guild. What do you guys want to do? I'm not the one guiding us. That's this one's job. Uh, well, I suppose the first thing we sh we ought to do is see if there's a section on the history of this place that we can learn anything about you know, what what's already been established, what's already known. People have written notes and things, but uh, you know, you could always just talk to one of the elder guild members, and they can tell you what you need to know. Well, uh, we should probably do that. Go. If they're, if somebody is available to talk. Yep, they can get somebody for you. <laughs> so, uh, do you want them to just go over the basics, or did you want to ask a specific question? I don't know, did we have a specific question? Um, what <laughs> information do you have on the shadow creatures that exist in the unpopulated areas? Well, we don't really go poking around, but they're beneath us. We don't know how far down the catacombs go, because no one explores them. They're, uh... We mostly just try to keep them at bay and leave them alone. What progress has been made in terms of uh, finding out how to get out? Well, we're researching into new types of transportation magic that might be able to get us transported to our various realms. But, uh, so far, progress has been slow. What happens been... to teleportation magic if you try to escape this area? Uh, it doesn't work. There is a, uh, dimensional anchor in this city, and it stems from, uh, the well, or the, uh, the fountain I'm assuming, uh, well I shouldn't assume, but has, has anybody tried any kind of testing on the fountain? Like, trying to dispel the magic, or, or Crap. is the fountain magical? Uh, it seems to just be a thing it does. Uh, no one who looks at it seems to see a aura of any kind on it, so... What events happen in the city? Is it just like basic... Really nothing? Just people trying to exist? Yeah, I mean, we showed up, and it was a completely deserted, already built city. I mean, we've added to it. The foundations of most buildings are stone, but we've made additions that are wood and metal above them and things like that. Are the original five uh, still alive? Um, yeah, I mean, they're mostly 
some Cardix, uh, some of them are dead, and then our guild leader here at the Mage's Guild is also one. Of the original five. Can we talk to him? I mean, I don't know if he's willing to speak to random people. What would you need him for? Well, he was there from the beginning. Yeah, and what makes you think you're important enough to talk to him? Well, yeah. we, we can become important enough to talk to him. Is there well, why don't you just talk needs? to me for now? Alright, what's your name? My name is Greg. Really? Gregory. Hello, Gregory. <laughs> Gregory the Expository. X asked, me, <laughs> now X asked me your questions. Okay, Gregory. Hey, I have a few questions. You talked enough. <laughs> racist guy, racist lady. Um, <clears throat> so uh, you guys said that um, I can't be racist. I can only be prejudiced. Shut up. Just, just shut <laughs> it. Just shut it. <laughs> uh, uh, every five days, five more. I just realized this, but five and five. But anyway, every five days, four more people show up. And that's been happening for fifteen years. Yep. Um, has there been? Any kind of discrepancy? I mean, the number sometimes varies. It's usually between 5 and 10. Has it varied on the 5th year? Uh, there's no trend that we can see. Huh. How often do you um, get unsavory beings in that are more likely to, to rampage and kill than become part of the community that you, you know, I noticed uh, or was discussed I should say that sometimes there are creatures that come in that, that uh, aren't aren't compatible with civilized society and end up getting killed before they wake up well it's not something that we like doing we always think that we want to give everyone a chance but there are some things that we can safely be like that's too dangerous to have around um, it's it, not a normal occurrence, but it happens. Does it does it usually bring in humanoid uh, humanoid beings, or does it sometimes bring in just creatures? Giant Could be scorpions. anything. We don't know uh, what its algorithm for who it gets chosen, so it seems to just be random. Um, is it all these, like, sentient people, sentient beings, or do they ever bring, like, cats or snakes? No, it's random. Like, that's why we sometimes hope that it'll be cattle or oh. some kind of food source we can replicate. Is it ever anything that's dead? Um, I mean, I am not going to say offhandedly that it's never happened, but I don't think it would be documented other than just being, like dead guy, but then we just get rid of him and move on. I mean, okay. We don't really research it. <clears throat> what about undead? No undead except for if you count shadow creatures. It brings in shadow creatures? No, I mean, there are undead oh. here if you count them. Okay. So it doesn't bring in any undead people? Nope. That's good. Has anyone and, uh, come in? As far in as we been... know, undead can't be created here either. Oh, really? No one's been trying, but we haven't seen any. Is there some odd chance that like anyone who comes in here has known someone who's been in here before? Or someone who's disappeared from their world? Well, I assume if somebody knew somebody from in here already, they would have some knowledge of how they left... Well, unless one person was yeah. taken and then another person was taken later, then, you know, they knew each other from their home world. That's, well, that's, that's as funny. long as they weren't standing next to each other, they would have probably been transported together, but, I mean, they could have just lived in the same town. It would probably be really, really rare. rare. Having sex. And half the body comes with him. He's dead. <laughs> that would be uh, it's like, oh, I fell asleep during... Oh, my head is gone! <laughs> I have a question. When somebody dies, have they ever, has anyone ever been resurrected? Uh, I mean, we don't usually... Tr 
try to resurrect people if they die naturally. And most people that are killed are killed for a reason. So unless it's a, uh, you know, individual outside person resurrecting somebody they know or something, we don't just resurrect people that get killed. Uh, what about cards? What if they're like, you know, fighting a monster, they get killed, and then somebody, have they been brought back to life, the cards? As far as we know, they don't have anyone bringing people back to life. That'd be something they would know about if they were doing it in secret. Hmm. Then you guys don't have any clerics around that would be able to raise anyone? Uh, we have clerics that can do healing. Uh, would you say never... the clerics are cut off from their own deities, though? Like... Yeah. I said it's... everyone can use their powers, though. They yeah. just can't invoke any kind of wishes or deity powers. Uh, so we can't speak with them, even through sources like augury and something? Nope. You're completely cut off. <clears throat> can I talk to my patron still, or no? Nope. Oh no, but how do I use my magic, then? I guess you can't. <laughs> it just sucks. I know. <laughs> yeah. It might be time to roll a new character. Yeah, uh, Angela can't do anything. No. Um, hmm. Oh, what about summoning spells? Summoning spells are weird. Uh, they cannot be done, essentially. As soon as you summon things, it'll be immediately dismissed. Huh. Well, that's interesting, also. So you can't use things like a druid wouldn't be able to use summon nature's ally? Uh, they thought about doing that as a supplement for food by summoning it then eating it, but uh, it doesn't work. Yeah. That part, I, I don't think that works in a regular world anyway. But I mean, it doesn't summon, or I mean, the creature just disappears. And the creature for... does summon, but then it gets sent back to wherever it came from. I'm sad I can't use magic now. Well, <laughs> Wait, I thought your magic, magic is. If works. your magic is based around having to speak with your god, then. Yeah, that's well, it's similar to clerics, because the way that clerics uh, remember their spells is they speak to their deity, and their deity, like, talks them through it. Well, they get power from their deities, but anything that involves directly interacting with their deities. No, but that's how they... Isn't that how clerics prepare their spells to talk to their deities? I don't think so. No, I think it's, it's not. They pray, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're... that they hear their deity's voice and stuff. Mm. Well, that sucks. I really should have thought this I mean, it, it should still work unless you have... Unless no, there's the, way that, the way that witches work is we have to... we commune with our patron through our familiars. Oh. And they're just like, bitch, fucking shoot ice out of your hand. Like, it's just like... What's your familiar? My familiar is a deck of cards. Oh, yeah. That's a weird familiar. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's what happens when you're whatever I am. Well, you can still throw cards at people. Yeah, but I can't, like, prepare spells. It's really bad. Yeah. Better work on that. Yeah, they can like multi-class be a wizard. No, it's something like there's so a lot of issues with everything. Hmm. I would think if um, clerics are able to obtain the power they get from their deities, even though they can't directly voice yeah. contact and re and and hear the voice of their deity, it should work to be able to speak through your cards still. It's up to Gage. I'll it allow be, it. It would be worth trying an experiment and finding yeah, out. Yeah, just game. so it doesn't completely gimp your character. Just throw cards up so useless. Hmm. <laughs> That's all I could do. Because its damage is, like, useless. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> On there. So we can't talk to gods. Uh, 
we don't know anything about the shadow creatures. All we know is that the cards are shady, and there's a lot of magic everywhere, but we don't know what it does. So, this community has been here for 15 years, and people haven't explored the catacombs outside the city? Uh, they're not outside. Oh. They're underneath. Under. But nobody's explored them. They're too dangerous. No one wants to die. Hmm. Literally, <laughs> you can hear the screaming at night. Of the creatures or of people? Of this, of the creatures underneath. That's bizarre. Yo, that's spooky as hell. All of the buildings have uh, a door leading down into them that is sealed off by all the ones we're using anyway. Out in the, you know, unpopulated areas, there could be open doors where they can get out. Do these creatures ever? get out into the city and have to be I mean, confronted? if they were out in the city, they would have to be back under by daytime, so... What happens we, if they're well, out I mean, in the light? probably be destroyed in the light. I'm not sure. We don't usually see shadows in the daytime. Interesting. So, being in the light usually is the saving grace. Never try. Is there anyone ever attempted, like any notes, anyone attempted using like <coughs> light magic? Well, I mean, feel free to go explore if that's what you want to do. No! <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Um, has anyone tried casting dismissal on anybody here? On people? Yes. Uh, no. Hmm. You have to try it. I mean, want to volunteer? He yeah. points at yeah, you yeah. and tries to cast at you, and nothing happens. Oh, okay. Oh, so this guy's a cleric. Uh, you don't know what he is. Oh wait, no, that's not. Yeah, that's a cleric. One. Summoners can use this missile. Oh, okay. Never mind. Use this missile. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, my character thinks he's a cleric. Well, you oh. can think whatever you want. Yeah. Anyway, he's gonna go over some basics now that you've asked some questions. Ooh. Okay. okay. Basically, everything outside of the city walls is desert. Uh. Ooh! In all directions, and there's fireworms out there. We've Aww. had expeditions going out, and the farthest anyone's gotten is About two that. days' ride on horseback, and there's still nothing even at that point. Wait, wait. Can people cast teleportation spells at all, or is it just spells that go out of the plane? Outside of the walls, anti-magic field. Oh. People can't so even summon water or food, so they can't, can't get further out. You can't use magic outside the walls. Mm-hmm. That's how it is. Now, inside the walls, have, has anybody tried teleporting from one point within the city to another point within the city? magic within the city seems to work. Um, actually, the Mages Guild is the pe ones who are controlling the environment right now. That's That environment, how there's day and night and there's weather, that's all magically created. Because this place also has two suns, and if we didn't do that, it would always be daytime. Oh. Wait, so... Oh, okay, so... The shadow creatures never even were able to come up here until yeah, uh, until came. people came. I wonder what those screams sound like. I guess we'll find out tonight. Yeah. What if they're just like really silly screams? They're just like, oh no. <laughs> no. Uh... How many shadow creatures they're, were they're, there? They're How many shadow? Sorry. How many shadow creatures were there when the first five people got here? They didn't know. They, they don't know. Uh, it was always day. They did not know. Uh, I just talked about that. Yeah. Always day talks about But yeah. So that's the gist of what we're working with. No one can really go outside the city. and No uh, one's willing to go under the city. Yeah. It's just we're 
trying to survive while people are finding a way to get out magically somehow. Um, do have... Have the shadow creatures increased recently or decreased? How, how would we know? By the screams? There are always screams. there. So the amount and I guess, volume of screams hasn't changed? I mean, it's louder at night. <laughs> huh. I'm kind of wondering if, like, the screams or, or the shadow people are actually, um, people who came here and then died. Who knows? Yeah. But, uh... You want to find also, out? So the walls around the city are hollow. We have guards posted at the entrances of basically leaving the city and coming, but uh, there's also unexplored areas around inside the walls. Inside the walls? I uh, know. Do those... Uh, do, do the shadow creatures uh, live inside the walls as well? Uh, they aren't super well explored either, but it seems like there's definitely less of them, if none at all. So there's two areas so they just look here like that shadows? are completely unknown. I mean, you don't know. They all come in different types, so... Has anybody survived an encounter with a shadow? I mean, plenty of people have. They aren't unkillable, they're just not something you want to fuck with for no reason. Uh. Have have there been any uh, excursions inside the walls? Yeah, like we said, it's not well explored, but we have done basic checking around in the immediate area of where the entrances are. What kinds of things have been found there? Mostly rubble and uh, strange writings. Hmm. Any anything that writings? was decipherable? Uh, they seem to be illithid in nature. Oh, great. I don't know That's that wonderful is. news. Mind flayers are illithid race, so that'll help. Yeah. Uh, oh, the so well, this, this whole thing might be just a pig mind game. Could be. What's a mind flare? That's my character asking. Alright, uh, they are kind of parasitic beings. They look like they have their brains exposed, tentacle mouths, you know, humanoid in nature, but they're very strong magically. They're kind of like brain vampires yeah. instead of blood vampires. You see, the way they reproduce is they bust a hole in your skull and go into your head and then burst through and take your body as their new host. It's very they horrible. Give you tentacle faces. Well, that's yeah. not really reproduction. If you think about it. Yeah, but they get new bodies and whatnot, and they start out as little squid heads, and then they steal a body from somebody. <laughs> uh -huh. Wait, where's the little squid head come from? I assume they come from other maybe eggs. I <laughs> not sure now, how. My next question then is: Have have there been any of them here? No one's seen any, but uh, there either was in the past or they're hiding. I'm pretty sure those are the kind of creatures where if they propped up, people would be really would really want to kill them. Correct. Uh, that would be uh, correct. Mm. Seeing as how they feed on people's brains. Has there been any any history of anyone here behaving like they're mind controlled? Um, I mean, how would you tell? Behaving like if they all of a sudden act very differently from like, the way they people have become accustomed to them acting after they arrived here stay here for a while and then act different? See, the thing about that is you can't really tell if that's mind control or somebody finally snapping. Well, that's true.
people sometimes wander into the you know unpopulated areas and are never seen again or people sometimes just disappear around the city hmm. but you know some people it's think it's the cards assassinating people or something that they don't like so there's probably a lot of mistrust of the cards here then yeah That's are there any, understandable are there any drow here I mean there's probably some drow but it's not like they're a major race I imagine they're not too thrilled to be here anyway. They're, this is all above ground. Yeah, I mean, and everything can, un underground is dangerous. Yeah, they can be in the. Uh, they'd probably be the best candidates for diving down in there. Yeah. Adventure. So, do you have any jobs for us? I mean, just try to make a living until. I mean, you can go investigate things. Any more information about those places no one else wants to go is always good. But, you know, I'm not, you know, holding my breath on anyone surviving. Well, do you, do you have an easier task for us? Because we're not really going to rescue ourselves killed. I don't have easier tasks for you, because this well, is us. a mage's guild. <laughs> well, uh, is there a task that I can... Well, I'm going back to the Refugee Guild. Thank all you right. for all the information, Gregory. No problem. All right, see you, Gregory. Uh, I, I, I follow... What's her face? I don't remember your character's name, but I follow your character. All right, I thank him and follow her as well. What is her name? My name? Yeah, yes. your character's uh, name. I'm going to the Refugee Guild. No, no, so? what is her name? Uh, Tamare. Tamare. Yeah, I follow Tamare. Yeah, Hot okay. Tamale. <laughs> is that just T A M A R A? Yeah. Thank. Type it into the chat. T E M M A R E. Okay. Calamari. Calamari. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you, Gregory. I'll like tell him I am a magic user as well, and I would I um if I need any if they need any help. Um, if they, like, are shorthanded, then I'll be in the Refugees Guild and feel free to ask me anything. Yeah, they need some witches need some brew. Okay. And that, uh, his work is gross. <laughs> and then I'll head over to the Refugees Guild, and, um, if they're following me, I'm gonna ask them, why are you coming with me? Because we gotta stick together. What? I have to work. <laughs> yeah, go do jobs. Earn some yeah. of that sweet money. Yeah. The money that you don't have. Yeah. 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 Let me do that. <laughs> aren't aren't you guys at all curious about the unpopulated areas and and the the areas that haven't been explored here? I kinda wonder if perhaps the solutions to the problem of being stuck here are contained within those areas since they've been here for fifteen years. Uh, I'm still the they've been... at you. I'm not a fighter. I don't fight at all. I think everyone's curious. I just think nobody really wants to get killed. So yeah, I'd rather not die. I would I'm rather. Pretty sure, I would help them if I could. But in the meantime, I kind of want to be in a comfortable situation where I can survive on my own. And then, if the chance comes along, I may try to help, like leave this area. But in the meantime, I want to like not die by yeah. being able to find a way to sustain myself. Thank you. Wait, wait, quick question. Um, the uh, the shadows. You said they're not unkillable, so I'm assuming people have actually killed them. Yes, that is what un not unkillable means. What are the remains? What, what kind of remains do they leave behind? Are you back in the Magician's Guild? What happened? Hold on, this is... We're, we're backtracking before we left. What? <laughs> so much redacted, I'm so confused. So, yeah, when, when, you, when somebody kills a shadow, what's left behind? Nothing. They poof into mist. What kind of mist? The kind that disappears and evaporates Sierra into mist. nothing. Well, has anyone ever tried to like? <laughs> <laughs> did, did anyone try to like bottle the mist after they killed it? No, I don't think anyone was trying to bottle the mist of a shadow when they kill it. Pretty sure they're trying to sew the, their friend's leg back on. The Coca-Cola bottle bottling company has arrived recently and is now <laughs> <laughs> trying to market the, the mist. Let's <laughs> right, go, refugee. Why are you coming with me? I'm trying to work. <laughs> Wait, wh wh what kind of job do you have with them? Huh? Not with them. I do my own thing. 
Oh, what kind of job? The job that I did before I came into this crazy place. Oh my god. He's a fortune teller. Yes. Oh. They don't know this though. I'm just telling him to leave me alone. Oh okay, no, <laughs> what kind of job do you have? Oh my god, I don't know you, go away. <laughs> we gotta stick together, we just got here. We need Excuse to- Excuse me? Yes, we all got here at the same time, so we need to stick together. What if I stick together is the key to no figuring out. You, you're all, everyone here is just confused, alone. Oh my god, leave me be, please. <laughs> Alright, fine, I'll follow someone else. Um, Hannah, what's your character's name? My character's name is <laughs> Mo M. Deer. Mo M. Deer? Mo M. Deer. M O E A M D I R. Moo, I am. Mo M Deer. I think it needs some more There's syllables. There's two elfin words. They sound, it sounds like a very Indian name. <laughs> it says two elfin words. Moe uh, <laughs> Yeah, I follow Mo M Deer. Mo M Deer. So, Mo M Deer, where, where, where are you headed off to? Well, if we are not all going to stick together, then I am going back to the guild and see what I can find out just from reading notes. I'm sure that there's there's somebody that's been documenting the history of this place. Uh, go back and see what I can find out about these shadow creatures and the areas that have been explored, whether there's been maps made, whether there's been any documentation of artifacts found, you know, any documentation of what has been written, that kind of thing. Alright. Well... I'm gonna start working because I kind of want to be comfortable, considering all this shit is crazy. Everything that's happened is crazy, and so I'm trying to like make something feel more like home by not. I don't know. I'm not gonna go too into this because I'm just like. Cause think, think, think about it. If you're in a situation where you're like just shoved into a situation where you can't like comprehend whatever is happening, you kind of want to set things a little back to normal before you start like going crazy. Where are my glasses? Oh my god, they were just on my face. What happened? How do you lose do something that. that was on your face? I don't know. Okay, I found them. I, I, started, I started putting, I started, I started putting pillows down. on my head. Because it's very bright in my room. I started just putting just like covering my face with pillows and quilts. Okay. So, uh, well, Hannah's at the, um, her guild. I'm gonna go to my guild, the Faerun guild. Is there really much of a guild, or is it just a place for people to sleep? Do they? Is there any, some type of community there? It's just a community. Okay, well, it's, it's your people. All right. I'm gonna have like a peasant. We're level four. What have we done? <laughs> you're in a burlap sack. Yeah, you're the <laughs> peasant. <laughs> Who are you to talk? <laughs> yeah, I don't act like one. I'm a hero. I in my I bag on the street, thrust into a world naked, fingers in my cooter. <laughs> I'm strong. <laughs> Flipping the bean. Anyway, um, you're not you're not doing menstrual painting, are you? That's <laughs> <laughs> gross. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, so there's really nothing going on at the uh, the Faerun Guild. It's just a place of sleep and people. T just hang out there every so often? Yep. Uh, is there any kind of organization or is it just people just hang nope. out there? People live there. It's a housing community. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so, Hannah, you are basically oh. finding any kind of things that they've mapped out so far. Yeah. In the explored areas and whatever they've tried in their small excursions into dangerous territory. Yes. Yeah. So you're given a map of that. People are trying to make it to underneath where the uh, fountain is, and it seems to just be a drop like a hole that goes straight down for unknown amounts of miles. Oh, that's interesting. So there's there's uh, maybe catacombs or something until then? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then it just drops. Yep. <coughs> Directly beneath the uh, the fountain. 
And that makes me wonder if the entire, um, whatever we're on, whether it's a planet or a, a flat surface or a, you know, a, a dimensional pocket or whatever, if the entire thing is just a construct. It might be. So that, of course, that theory is going in the notebook. <laughs> uh, but um, I'll see what I can, if I can copy, you know, maps and, and things. Um, yeah, you're given pretty much free reign of any paper and ink and all that stuff you might require. Okay. To make then I will do that. Hmm. Yeah, and I, I'll make any notes I can on what's already known about the creatures that inhabit, the shadow creatures that inhabit that area. Yeah, they have documents of the basic shadows as well as a specific to this area, it seems, creature called a howler that seems to be just a mass of shadows that just has gibbering and screaming surrounding it and when people get too close and hear it the uh, they have to try to not go insane from it. That almost sounds like something out of the old Call of Cthulhu game. <laughs> out of like character, a, obviously. Uh, like a sh Shoggoth? Yeah. So, I'm of course, I'm copying down everything, um, and when I get an opportunity, I'm going to find Gent and the Gent and and explain what I found to him. Her, her, Gent. all of you are female. All of us are female. Okay. Team and vagina. It, <laughs> uh, and and of course, when um, Tamara, uh, Tamara. Tamari. Has had Tamari, oh. Tamari. Okay. Tamari. Has had time to settle. I will share the information with her too. Over the next few days, uh, people come for services, and uh, you know, you guys make about uh, eight cardic gold each, except for Nathan, who has no job. Wait, I don't have a job either. Wait, no. Wait, they have jobs. You what? don't. Oh, okay. Well. Didn't decide on anything. What are you doing? Um, hold on. Can I offer to teach people kung fu? I mean, you can, but I don't know if you'll <laughs> be successful. But what if it's like yeah. general combat? It doesn't have to be necessarily. I'm. Gonna, you're gonna be a monk, but like just teach people. No, you open in a dojo. <laughs> yeah. I ha how much success will I have doing that? Teaching people to be warriors. Well. I'll roll a percentile each day to Market see if it as self defense yeah. to see if anyone even wants your services. Oh, if I need right. <coughs> You probably don't have to teach them fighting, but you probably like can like be a trainer in terms of like people who want to just get fitter. I think that'd be more uh, broad. I don't think you can get fat. What? You don't think people can get fat? In this world, where there's just mana? And there's, yeah, it's not like there's a bunch of cows that people can eat, it's just... Yeah, they mana. don't get fat. Yeah. They'll pretty much stay exactly the same. You can still make people get skinnier, then. Sweet. Yeah. Uh. Alright, oh, anyway. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I have magical abilities, so maybe I can, like, make money doing that. Presta digitation. I mean, and you have you thought about looking in the, the center of the city if there's a town square and a post with job postings on it or anything? Sometimes cities have that. I mean, you can live in the combine and still go and do work at the mages guild if you wanted. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll be seems the simplest way. I do have magical ability, so I'll do that. All right. So, so you're all making eight gold cardic. And uh, that happened over the two-day period that was decided on in chat, is what I saw. And it's eight gold total, right? Not eight yep. gold a day? Yep, four, four gold each day. Okay. 
and uh, there is uh, some. Does it vary? I think I would make less because, like, I don't think anyone wants a fortune teller right now. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you You're what good. you got. Okay, fine. Don't you argue with me. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot. Of, I'm getting a lot of money for something that no one really cares about too much right now. You gotta die cold and alone. That'll be for gold. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna be stuck here tomorrow. Four gold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best fortune teller ever. It always comes true. Four gold. <laughs> okay. Um. She's. No, no, she's not pregnant. Yes, yes, he's cheating on you. Four gold. <laughs> okay. Your dog's gonna die. Four gold. Four gold. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we all meet up somewhere. Four gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, 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 what do you guys want to do now? Well, I, I share all my information that I've gotten, that I've found on the catacombs and the creatures, and, and the fact that there's a big hole under the fountain, which brings me to wonder what's supporting the fountain. Is it just, you know, the, the amount of surface between it and that hole? It, it must not be very heavy. Or is it very deep underneath... <coughs> that the hole starts like do we go down a ways before you get to that hole well I mean it's a pretty basic map so I mean you'd have to go under and check for yourself hmm. but uh who knows you could always just check for local listings yeah let's do that actually, first actually does the fountain does water run through the fountain or does it just is it just a pool of water sitting in the middle of like is it a fountain it's, fountain it's just a pool of water essentially okay. like a wishing well type deal where you throw money into it. Hmm. Do the maps show a source for the water? No. And it's always full. That's interesting too. But uh, yeah. There might be job listings. Yeah, I say we check the job listings. Okay. Well, we're stronger. We can go into the catacombs and fight these uh, shadows. There's job listings from cards. Oh, the people who don't like us because we're not humans? <laughs> I mean, that doesn't mean they won't hire you. I look like a human. Wait, do they have a problem with women as well? You don't know. I can ask them, or I can ask somebody. I mean, you'd have to go and ask. Uh, oh, I'll go figure that out later. <coughs> so, what kind I'll of jobs? Figure it out when you talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah, what, 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 what kind of jobs do they have listed? It looks like there is uh, jobs for guarding properties, uh, investigating robberies. There's jobs for, um, what is it? Fucking... There's a job uh, there for is, job? There, yeah, I mean, yeah. The oldest profession. <laughs> but, uh, ladies. So, <laughs> there is also a job to investigate, um, what is it? A sighting of mold that is growing on some of the houses further out in the <laughs> unpopulated areas. Mold? Yes. They have a feeling it is a certain type of mold that is bad, and they want somebody to go check it out. Alright, we'll do bad that. Because <laughs> other mold, mold is good. <laughs> bad, bad hey, mold. Penicillin. <laughs> yeah. I'm allergic to penicillin. Well, then all mold is bad to you, but it's yes. great for us. <laughs> Shove it in my mouth. sucks. Shove it in your mouth. <laughs> Ew. Gross. Uh, there's a fungus among us. Ha! But I mean, do you, any of you even have not knowledge nature or anything like that? Uh, <laughs> no. That is not an area. You, you wouldn't really be able to identify anything then, would you? Wait, how, how, much is, how much are they asking me? Well, maybe you should go and talk to somebody about it. It's, it's not written on the uh, job no. listing? Why wouldn't they it write? says inquire at the offices. Well, screw that. They only tell us up front. Um, well, you know, we could look up the characteristics of the mold that it, that they suspect it to be so that we could identify it 
based on those characteristics. I mean, there's, uh. there's bound to be some sort of description. I say we investigate the, um, <laughs> the robbery. Yeah, okay. Of course you want to do the robbery. That's, that's more of a human element. All right. Racist. I don't want to deal with How do you know it was a human that did the robbery? <laughs> there's, there's two different robberies that happened recently. Uh. One was a lot of food was stolen from a storage facility owned by the cards that was, uh, you know, not supposed to go missing, and then it did. And then there's also a wealthy rich person that their entire vault got taken. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know there was some Robin Hood person who robbed the place and then gave it out to the poor people. That's not uh, something you know, and uh, I mean, you are working for the bad guys. What was the result off. of the? Uh, what was the result of the theft of the food? Did that keep food? From well, I mean, being... it's keeping food from the cards, <laughs> and it, it didn't keep food from the general population. I mean, you don't know because no one knows where it went except the people who took it. Well, what I mean is, was the food? before it was stolen, designated for the general population, or was it just de withheld, uh, reserved, I should say, for the cards? It was a reserve. It's, uh, it was in the food stores of the oh cards. God. Are there any more? Because I don't like the idea that we're gonna... This makes me more interested in investigating the mold. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just worried that we're gonna find the person who, like, stole the food, and it turns out it's some guy who's, like, handing it out to, like, the poor area. It's Robin Hood. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want the Robin Hood in jail. Well, I mean, there's always investigating the rich guy who got robbed. Yeah, but well, that's some rich guy. Hey, maybe it could be rich guy. Yeah, uh, pay. <laughs> yeah, let's let's, uh, let's investigate the rich guy because I don't want to deal with the mold or the uh -huh. food. So let's just deal with the rich guy. See what uh, what, what, what he's up to. Oh yeah, like gotta see stage. what rich man's up to. Yeah, Richmond. All right, well, uh, you go, and uh, you're gonna have to go pick up the quest at the offices. Okay. So you're going to uh, the Cardic Office of Employment, and uh, they are asking what you're inquiring about. The man recently got robbed. I mean, we would like to investigate the matter. All right, let me see your papers. I hand him my papers as okay. I roll my eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they uh, looking them over and uh, saying, uh, "What kind of skill do you have in investigating?" Uh, Murder. <laughs> <laughs> well, we leave them my character sheet. See what kind of. I think I have perception. Oh, you can look at that. I, 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 I have perception. How how high is your perception? I have, I have a three ranking it. It's like an eight in total. But anyway, I, I didn't mean so to say... So you're like, you're good at spotting details that others miss. Yes, also... <laughs> I'm also good at uh, determining whether or not somebody's lying, what they're up to. Alright. Well, if you can find out any information that might lead to any more leads, then we'll pay you a small fee. But if you can actually bring the people to justice, you'll receive larger. How much exactly? You'll receive 100 card gold if you find something that will lead them in the right direction. And if you uh, successfully, it'll be 500. <laughs> Sounds good. Giving, giving you the address, having you sign contracts that say the above. Okay, um, you guys want to take this job? You get, are, are we all in agreement? Yeah, okay. I'm okay with it. Alright, yeah, I, I signed the papers. Do we all have this sign or just me? All of you, I assume. Uh, I'll sign. Mm hmm. Okay, so you're going over to the guy's house? Yes. It's a big house, two stories, has a basement, 
Uh, there's some guards that were there the night of the robbery. Kill them all. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't listen to the voices in your head. Anyway, they're, uh, uh, they're asking what you guys are doing here. Oh, we were hired by the cards to do an investigation of the robbery. Let me see your papers. I show my papers. Okay. I'm gonna get my papers tattooed on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, he's like, let me give you the lowdown. One. Are, the are, are we the equivalent of Charlie's Angels? Right now? <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> so basically, I was patrolling the top story, and my partner was down in the kitchen, and With he Dinah? seems to be traumatized because of something that happened, but he refuses to talk about it. But, uh, yeah, the vault is in the basement. Well, he's a man. Of course I can express his feelings. And, uh, it <laughs> wow. was, uh, apparently broken off the hinges. Oh, so something particularly strong came in here, obviously. And then everything was, you know, taken out, and they left. The thing of value the most that was stolen was a pretty big diamond. As well as a lot of gold and some high quality weapons. What kind of weapons? Uh, a plus one of every effective weapon. Every effective weapon? That's a lot of yeah, weapons. Every, every melee weapon, he had a plus one of, essentially. Why? So. Just to adorn the walls. Okay. That's, kind of really that's, a, that's a lot of money. Um, the door that. where it was. Uh, torn off the hinges was there any sign of like any explosive materials nope. or you know, there was no burn, marks, no, burn marks no nothing it was just the bolts that hold into the wall were destroyed <laughs> okay. they were ripped out of the wall and uh are there is there any indication of like claw marks or anything like that or does it just look like something got a grip on it and ripped nothing uh, nothing that shows any sign So we have a guard that was traumatized by what he saw, and whatever it was that he saw ripped a vault door off the hinges. Yeah. Is he willing to talk about it, or is he just too traumatized to talk about it as well? He just, you know, mumbles about crazy things and apples and weird vines and stuff. And apples? Yes. He seems to have gone mad. Apples? Um, and vines. Well, there's a relation to everything. Clearly. I would rather destroyed him. <laughs> An apple fell on his head, he went crazy. Case closed. Kill him. <laughs> Is there any chance that we could talk to him? Even if I we mean, don't get anything out of it? Sure. He will lead you inside to where he is sitting at the table. And he seems to be, like, shaking back and forth, and being, like, mumbling about fucking tentacles and shit. Vines. Does it sound like the thing that I just read about? No. That would be just a mass of shadows, and, okay. you know, mouths and eyes screaming and gibbering. Hmm. But there is a uh, entrance into the catacombs right near the vault. <coughs> Does the entrance seem? To... Is it's it sealed? sealed? Mm -hmm. Perhaps the seal didn't do any good this time. Well, I'll see if I can get him to actually pay attention to me instead of um, sitting and muttering. He's basically being like, what? What's going on? Who are you guys? And, and I'll let him know that we're uh, we're here about what happened. You know, hear about what, what happened the other day when the vault was broken into. Alright, I'm going to pause there because I need to go pick up Mariah from work. Right, Chopper. Yeah, we will continue after I get home. It'll only take like ten minutes. Okay. Bye.
Well, uh, All right. yeah, I guess I'll so I guess think about what questions you're going to ask and what possible things you can do when I get back. The check thoughts. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got. And detect thoughts might actually be useful. Or it might return gibberish. I could scare the crap out of him. I have ghost sound. I don't know if that's the best thing. <laughs> uh, I have mage hand and ghost sound, so I could tap him on the shoulder from behind and make some horrible screeching noise. Mm, <laughs> let's uh, let's not. Let's not let's wait till that. later to do that. That's <laughs> mm, that's a good idea, but uh. <laughs> not in this case. It's not. Uh, I'll be right back too. I need to get some aspirin.
Hello. So I'm thinking the things to ask him mm. are basically going to be you know, if he can describe anything about what he saw happen. And then if he's able to do that, I just I can ask him uh, if it came out of the catacombs, you know, or where it did come from, and what it looked like, that kind of thing. But I have a feeling we're going to get nonsense answers from him. Probably. Notice the basic skill list didn't even have information gathering on it as a thing. I hadn't even thought about that. It's something that I'm used to in D and D. What are you used to in D and D? I think it's called information gathering. Wait, hold up. Research. Was there's it? a skill. Maybe it's a different game, but there's a skill for gathering information. Oh yeah, gather information is a thing in yeah, uh, D &D, but in it's this not game. If you want to gather information, I believe it in Pathfinder it's knowledge local. Okay. Yeah. See, that's a different thing in D and D. It's it exists in D and D, but it's not a. Uh, huh. Yeah, and knowledge areas are own are trained only areas. Hmm. Oh, diplomacy. Use diplomacy to gather information. Okay. You can use diplomacy to gather information about a specific topic or individual. To do this, you must spend at least one d four hours canvassing people at local taverns, markets, and gathering places. So diplomacy will be something to put some points into at some point. Yeah. I just lie to people. <laughs> uh, how do you how are you finding most of your information on Pathfinder? Well, I'm I'm just using the the free site. The D twenty PFSRD. Paizo.com has the basic rule books. Oh, uh, I use this one. It's easier. It has like a nice search bar on the top. You can just like look up anything, and I'll just give you a good list of it. I just use this. It's a little handier. Oh, Wait. nice. Ah, I dropped something. Is this a sock? This is a sock. Yeah, 
it'd be interesting to research in this area whether <laughs> whether psionicists have, have uh, shown up and actually been you know open about being psionicists and, and, and had you know what what kind of experiences they have here because I have some suspicions about the illicits now Gage said we're not I don't think psychics exist here yeah probably in that that probably indicates something. I would imagine if there's illithids living underground taking advantage of the city being here or something, they wouldn't want psionics. Or they made it. Yeah. It's a lot of factors. A lot of weird shit. Which that would make it um they would they would definitely not want psionics here then.
I'm back. I don't know if it, whatever else is doing. Yeah, I'm back too. I had just muted because I'm chewing food. Is gas still gone? Seems like it. Hmm. I am playing the secret world while I wait for him. Game is sold. Oops. Let me do that.
I am back. Hello? <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> Where That's you? what I get for trying to talk while I'm muted. It works really well. <laughs> I stopped to get some food. Wah! Food is good. Food makes it fat. Did they? Straw. <clears throat> what do you mean? I'm gonna share it with you. <laughs> Yeah, beesh. Anyway. So you were about to uh, interrogate the guard, essentially? Um, well, actually, since he's, uh, he seems to be traumatized, she's not going to do this by way of interrogation. She's going to sort of sit and try to be conversational, but ask, still ask him questions. Uh, can I roll a heal check on him to try to, like, help his ailment? If there's anything that could be healed. Alright. I got 11. Well, he seems to be fine. Oh. <laughs> but you say he was, he was traumatized. Psychologically. Yeah, I want to make a <coughs> psychological heal check. Well, you rolled a 10, so you don't know. Okay. <coughs> anyway. And so, so, what is your conversational starting point? I basically starting out with, you know, asking him, or sent, saying to him, I, you know, I heard you had a really frightening experience the other night. He uh, just is like, I'm not supposed to say anything. Not supposed to say anything? Who said, who told you not to say anything? Yeah, who, who is, I, was it? I've already okay. talked too much. The tech thoughts! Do you have that? Yes, I have that. What's its effect? Uh, where is it? I had a chance. Let's see. Um, I can concentrate and then I can. Sing. I can first. It's so it's like over a period of time. So first round, I have it up. It it just texts like the presence of like people, just conscious enemies and whatnot, and then uh, how many minds there are in the relative cone, and then uh, surface thoughts. So the third round is where you get your surface thoughts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, continue talking. Okay. Well, while he's. While she's doing that, I'm I'm gonna a ask him um, if his. But I'm using the tech thoughts. Yeah. Like right I'm gonna now. ask him if his employer is forbidding him to talk about the incident. It's not employers. They told me not to speak. The who are they? Can't talk about it. That would be speaking. Dutz Hex Thoughts! <laughs> yep. I'll let you do one more conversation piece before I say what surface thoughts are. Uh, did they... Did they come Where from they in the you. city, or did they come from somewhere else? They just were there. They just appeared? Well, they weren't supposed to be there. But they were. Alright. So his surface thoughts are the people who broke in uh, will come and get him if he talks about anything. Uh, okay. I'll keep asking him questions. I'll ask him if he can tell me what they look like. No, I didn't. What? Wait, hold up. Okay, never mind. Just keep keep talking. Yeah, yeah, I'll ask him if he can tell me what they look like.
he's saying that uh, it was too dark. Okay. Um, did you see them go into the vault? He's saying he didn't see anything. I'll go over to uh, Moen Deer, and then I'll uh, pull her aside real quick. And then I'll tell her, um... Oh, do I have to take any other thoughts um, that are not in this room? Like, um, you probably would detect the thoughts of the other guard. Okay. So I told well, her, it's like, um... Well... Uh, huh. I didn't see nothing, didn't do... <laughs> okay. So, um, I'll tell her, it's like, well, apparently, um, they say... He, um, what's on his mind is that if he speaks, then, um... Whoever told him not to speak will come after him and get him. Yeah. That would keep him from talking. Yeah. I wonder what, uh... So there's two ways we can do this. We can promise him that we'll maybe protect him, or... Maybe... We may have a chance of, uh, using him as bait, which isn't the most savory of things, but it may get the job done. I mean, you know, he's cardic, so it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. So maybe if we come yes. forward with this knowledge to the other cardics, they may also, like, not give a damn and try to get to whoever stole the whatevers. I'm sure he probably seems genuinely afraid. Yep. Yep. Any chance when I asked him what the um, what the the thieves looked like that he thought about what they looked like? I mean, would that be a separate detect thoughts, or would that no? Be it's within. Still it's it's going? within. Within. It's it's it lasts as long as I'm like paying attention to it. So even after the third turn, it just keeps yeah. going. Yeah, it's just, um, I have to concentrate, in general. He's thinking of two people and something else. Okay. A male, a female, and then a creature. Uh, it appears that, uh, I'll, I'll, like, tug her aside again while still, like, paying attention to him, and, like, looking at his reactions and everything. It's like, it, apparently it was two people and some creature. Uh, Interesting. <clears throat> I wonder if there's people in the city then that are working with the the shadow creatures that were described to us. Tell, ask him, ask him who are you afraid more of the uh, the creature, or um, who are you afraid more of, uh, um, of these uh, pursuers of yours? Uh, he's saying he doesn't know what you're talking about. And in the detect thoughts, he's focusing on the creature. Oh. <laughs> this is really spooky. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask, did, did he see... I'm going to ask him again, did he see where he came from? Huh? I'm going to ask him again, did he see where they came from? Uh, he... Pretty sure it's the dorm. Yeah, he doesn't know. They just snuck into the house is what is going to be coming through. He was eating snacks, which he was not doing his proper guardly duties, and they came in behind him. Put those vines right up his butt. Yes. Oh. That would traumatize him. Yeah. Now, the things that he'd been muttering about before were, were vines and apples, right? Yep. Yes. Apples. Yep. I he wonder said. if he was eating apples before that. <laughs> uh, did hmm. I'm gonna ask him if he was threatened by the thieves. He was. Yeah, yeah, he definitely he was. Like, considering considering they said they would come after him, they, they said thing. Did they verbally tell him that, or is he simply af afraid of the creature? Uh, he's not gonna confirm anything. 
We can surface thoughts aren't going to reveal much. The cards can protect you. They're very powerful. This man who was robbed is very rich. I'm pretty sure he will go to any means to get his fortune back. That doesn't mean that he cares about me. He doesn't have to care about you. Then if he keeping won't you safe, give me the protection. best person to talk about anything. If they were able to get the drop on me when we were guarding this house, then they can probably get into anywhere. Hmm. Are you able to tell me which way they went when they left? He says he can't tell you anything. Is he thinking of anything? Where is he looking? Nope, he stayed in the kitchen. Okay. Maybe we just shoot this guy off of the cards. <laughs> like, if this guy has information and he's not talking, maybe they can get it out of him. Yeah, I'm sure they can. And then they'll come and get him. Hmm. Well, there's, uh, there's two things we can do. We can either try to get more information out of him, or get the guards to make things happen. What do you guys want to do? I mean, or you could just be like, go back and tell them what you found out from him, and then just collect the small portion of the fee. Yeah. I want to look more closely at the sealed door to the catacombs. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to roll perception to see if there's anything I can notice about the room or the, uh, <coughs> the area that's been um, burglarized. Burglarized. Yes, burglarized. So what are you asking? I'm not asking anything. I'm just looking around the room. I'm going to roll uh, perception. Okay. To see if there's anything out of place, anything that people haven't mentioned. Just basically do an investigate. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I'm specifically. Well, yeah. by the time that it is now, I'm pretty sure Detect Thoughts has run out. So, uh -huh. I'll just wow. take Go ahead so, and roll yeah. Perception. Yeah, I got 14. Well, there's leaves on the ground. And I'm specifically examining that door, that the door to the, the sealed doorway to the catacombs. Is there any urine on the ground? Did he piss himself? <laughs> no. I'm there's surprised. nothing... Uh, strange about the door, except that, you know, it would take a ridiculous amount of strength and it was somehow ripped out. No, no, not that door. The the door to the catacombs, not the door to oh. the vault. It has a uh, sigil on the door that is in a language that I'm not sure if you know. Okay. Um, what are your languages? My languages are... Common, Elven, Dwarven, Draconian, and Sylvan. By Draconian, do you mean Draconic? <laughs> Draconic, yeah. I don't know why I have Dracon Draconian. I was, well, I do know why, because I was tired when I did this. Well, then you know what it says. <laughs> okay, what does it, it say? It says closed. Okay, so it's sealed. Yep. And it hasn't been, the seal hasn't been altered or disturbed, it doesn't look like it. Does it look like new paint or anything? Nope. Okay. Sorry, you saying it didn't come from this? I don't think that door's been opened. Um, if anything came out of there, it's something that can get past the seal without disturbing it. Woo! So, either it's something extremely powerful or something that came from out outside the house or manif manifested inside the vault and then broke out. <clears throat> Maybe it came from inside the house. Yeah, the call's well, coming from inside the house. It could possibly have been... But who somebody... was phone? Huh? But, but who, who was, was phone? Who was phone? <laughs> uh, but it could possibly be some somebody that teleported into the vault. Was the vault... Um, I'm gonna ask the guard that uh, is not traumatized if the vault had any magic wards on it protecting it from people in, uh, teleporting inside. No, there was no magical protections on the okay. vault. Why not? We just didn't think it was necessary. 
it probably wouldn't have been thought necessary in an environment like this. Does the door bear any signs of having had pressure exerted on it from the inside? Um, like, is it buckled or would... bowed? From the, no. like, it would... Is, is it twisted in a way that would indicate that it was opened, the, the direction that it was opened? Like, the, the open from the, the outside? The pieces of the wall are bursted outward, so... Okay. I mean, it could have been pulled outward or pushed outward. Either way, it's the same breakage. And just not done in a way that the, the damage to the door indicates which direction the damage came from. Exactly. Just the direction that the pull with. It's just that it's easier to push something than it is to pull it. Dependent. Unless, yeah, de unless, unless you know you're really a, a, good a tentacle vine creature, then I'm pretty sure pulling is very easy yeah. for you. Yeah, in that yeah. case, but it would have to be like, then there would have had to have been a way for it to get a grip. You know, as a vault door, generally speaking, it's airtight. Yeah. I mean, there's the big wheel. <laughs> yeah. So, and they came through the vault, potentially. They did not come through the underground. Yeah, they, they either were, came they from outside just the house or come through, through the vault. yeah, outside the house. And pulled, yes. the, pulled it from the, using the wheel. Where's the um, owner? And they obviously didn't go straight to the vault because they interacted with the guard outside the kitchen door that leads down That's to the true. basement, so... Um, did they, did they enter any other part of the house and take anything from there, or just the vault? Just the vault. Which begs the reasoning that, uh, you know, they might have known where they were going. Yeah, they might have known exactly where the vault was. Has anyone where been, did they enter? Has anyone been fired recently? Uh. By this guy? Not that we know of. Is there anybody can talk to the, the owner of the house? Nope. He's not taking guests. Okay. Even, after investing, e even for investigating where... Uh, <clears throat> even for investigating the theft? Nope, we're in charge of handling the investigation stuff. Uh. Is there any way you can show me where the... where the traumatized guard interacted with the thieves? The, the kitchen. Where do the vines touch you? Yeah. No, I mean, Show me it, on the doll. the door outside the basement? Well, yeah. The kitchen leads oh, okay. down. Into so it's the... in the kitchen? <clears throat> yeah. Um, I mean, the vault is under the kitchen, essentially. Can we look in the basement? That's where you were when you were looking at the vault. Oh, okay. I see. The vault is in the basement. And then <laughs> there's the uh, door to the catacombs that's also down there. Okay. So, <coughs> what other entrances into the kitchen? And there's obviously there's going to be one going into the house, but is there a uh, kitchen exit from the house? I, I mean, there's doors in the kitchen that lead to other parts of the house, and then the house has windows and doors. So, take yeah. a pick. Is there? But I mean, is there an exit door in the kitchen? Does the that that goes directly outside? No. Okay. So they didn't just appear there because they came through that door. Um, it, do the leaves leave any kind of a trail? Uh, it looks like they're just scattered around throughout places. Mm -hmm. I well, think are we allowed to? I mean, you can look. Yeah, I was gonna say, are we allowed to sort of look around? Sure. Does it seem like there's uh, uh, another room with leaves in it and, and rooms that don't have leaves? Seems like, uh, there is a trail of leaves that, uh, go throughout the house, which are, uh, starting on the bottom floor, and then going straight through down into the kitchen, and then down into the basement. Do they start at a, at a door or window that, is it discernible whether they start at a door or window? Uh, it would have been from a window. Okay. Can, then the next thing is to look outside that window and see if there's 
footprints or, or tracks of, of any kind that lead away? Well, it's been a little bit of time since, so I don't know if there's any discernible tracks, as well as, you know, the scene has been walked around upon. You're lucky we didn't just clean up the mess. Mm. On the off chance, I'm going to try a detect magic. Okay. There's probably not any kind of residual anything with the leaves. Are you, Is there? uh... No. Looking, yeah. you Looking around with the detect magic up, yeah. Well, the uh, catacomb door is the only thing that has an effect on it. And in the nearby buildings are probably other rich people's houses. Yep. Then the only other thing I can think of is to start inquiring around if... very quietly and carefully or listening, checking to see if there's been anyone trying to unload that diamond. I guess it's something. I was just gonna just give them the information, get the money, and then go somewhere else. <laughs> yep. Well, that would be the decision for you. Because one thing to be aware of is that they have a giant plant creature, and they didn't summon it, so how'd they get it? Yeah, that is a question. Could be is a familiar or an animal companion. Yeah. How much of a description can we get for on that, <coughs> that creature from the the surface thoughts that surface thoughts I figure will be mostly whatever he's know. thinking about at that time. Yeah, so unless we ask specific things, then yeah, it'll then be it's like out, and I don't have any vaguely. blood for the day, so I can't do it again. But uh, it just seems to be like a mass of vines. Well, I could also go back and sort of see if I can find out anything about what that creature might be. If there's any... If it's a familiar, then we know who to ask. Yeah. The Magician's Guild. Yep. Yeah, and if there might be uh, information on, uh, like, a, like a creature compendium type thing that would I could look through to see if I could find um, a creature that looks like a massive vines like that. Well, the only way to do it is to do it. Yep. Well, do you guys want to try to find out more information on this, or do you want to just turn in the information? Uh, I'll head out to the Magician's Guild, and I think we should we could do that, and then find out some more information, but if it leads to, like, any more dead ends, or, like, anything that's, like, a bit out of my, uh... Out of our league? Not out of our league, but just out of, like, if I'm getting impatient, then I'll probably just, like, go to something else. Okay. So we can go look and see if there's any any information on, on uh, creatures. Yes. See if we can find out what that thing was. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so back at the Magician's Guild. Uh, these are... Fucking... No. Gregory! But, uh, yeah, you know, you can go visit Gregory the Expository. Gregory the <laughs> Expository. And uh, he'll tell you that it's most common that druids would have a kind of companion like that. Can you give me more information about, like, what kind of a... Well, they start out with a little plant, and as they level, quote-unquote, their plant would get bigger and stronger, and develop more traits, so... What the heck would Drew want so with a diamond? Wondering. Sounds like, uh, you could always ask around if anyone wanted the diamond. How come there are diamonds? 
not. Hmm. <laughs> imagine they're not. It's not like oh. they can be mined for here. Oh. It's probably worth huge amount more than it would have been in its original location. Yes. Do you think somebody's trying to resurrect someone? I don't know. So I believe it could be crushed diamonds. Yeah. Quite possible. <clears throat> well, that's a, a lead to track down. If there's been a a an unusual death or a death a, a, to somebody in a wealthy family or you know somebody who could actually pay uh, hunters, you know, or mercenaries to get get that diamond. Yeah, you could even stay with me ask around if anyone knows of anybody who might have a companion like that <laughs> true we wouldn't be able to ask around about druids yeah it's nothing much easier <laughs> yeah let's do that are there any in the magician's guild no where, where, where can we find a druid I mean you just have to ask around a lot of the druids uh, went into exile. Imagine they probably were having a, a bit of a they, rough uh, time Yeah, they didn't like it, so they decided to take their chances in the unpopulated areas and set up on their own. Possibly the, there would be more information on that at their, maybe the refugee skill? Possibly. Also, they could be pretty powerful if they're on the outskirts, <coughs> sending off the shadows. Yeah. Yeah, because survival there would be more difficult. Yeah, they're called black cloaks. Black people. Black cloaks, and oh, uh, okay. they have wood wardens. Wood wardens. Big wooden golems that they use to protect themselves. So they are formidable. So they'll be fine out there. Hmm. All right, let's go find some. Um, the question is, how would they know if you talked about them? This is just about some black cloaks. Well, if uh, people come after them, then they would know. So he had to have said something. He didn't really say anything, though. No, but they would. I feel like someone too. close to him must have, like, maybe I don't know. There's a lot of factors. It is possible that the other guard is in, is is was in on it too. No, I don't think the cards would do that. <laughs> it's their rule. Why would they fight against? Yeah, the they'd rule? just be like, "Hey, give me that diamond. We need it." Yeah, mm -hmm. it wouldn't make any sense. Unless he wasn't, you know, unless he was actually a druid spy, but. Uh, in an environment like this, I, I imagine they would know. I think that's what tattoos are stuff. for. Yep. I mean, you well, can still. Well, you can claim to be loyal yep. to a group without actually being loyal to that group. Uh, so you can start out with loyalty to a group and then be persuaded to become loyal to a different group. Yeah, that is true. I, I mean, it's entirely possible, it, but. Uh, but the first thing to do is, is find out more about these druids. Yep. So, refugees is what I heard last. Yeah. I'll that would be it. my thought if we could ask more a little bit around about the uh, about the mint that the uh, refugees guild they might there might be more knowledge there on the druids, the refugees. All right. So you're. Going up to the soggy refugee. Hello. You're outside. Hello. <laughs> You're saying hello to the door. Hello, door. I open the door for. Let me uh, see what your secrets are. Tell me your secrets. Detect thoughts. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't have any it's, for the day. It's thinking about splintering. Oh. I, I open the door for. Okay. Who has hurt you in such ways, door, that you would think of splintering? I, I open the door for the rest of the group. Okay. It's gonna create Hello. A Inside is the uh, usual suspects. Michael and Gambler Girl and random drunks. And this weird fortune teller lady in the corner. 
Oh, it's me. That's you. Yeah, hello. <laughs> but so, going up to talk to Michael? Michael. Mm hmm. We are uh, looking for. What are you looking for? Black bloods? Black cloaks? Black cloaks. Or you're just looking on any information about druids, I yes. assume? Yeah, basically, druids, yes, that would have. Go at it! A fairly high uh, level or well developed plant familiar, that viney plant type familiar. You said vines, huh? Yeah. We actually have somebody like that at this guild. Really? Is it yes. you? No. Uh, Good. <laughs> it's not. Glad it's not him. It's one of our uh, operatives. Operatives? Oh boy. So, uh. Wh wh why do you have operatives? To carry out jobs. Hmm. What kind of jobs? The secret kind. Oh. Thanks for telling us, I guess. <laughs> now I know about secret operatives in a different guild. <laughs> yes, but you don't know anything about what they're doing. No. Or why. Or who oh, they are. they're stealing diamonds from the cards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> no, we don't know that. But now I suspect it. Um, <laughs> that's not it's good. All, it's all suspicion. You have no proof of anything. That's true. But, uh, his partner is over there playing cards, if you want to talk to her. <gasps> oh, I think these got real. No, not Becky. <laughs> Whatever her name is. Oh, by the way, um, Afronasia, I forgot the name of your character, but we did the whole detect right, class. You just call me Bruce. Bruce? Or Queen Melisandre. Well, I'm sticking with Bruce, I'm talking out of character. That works perfectly fine. Um, when she, when uh, you did the detect thoughts, did you get a description of the people that he saw, or is it nope. just... He was not thinking of that, he was thinking about a giant monster with vines, and that's all I get. Okay. That's all I really got. Alright, never mind then. That. Was, of course he was going to focus on the thing he was scared of. Alright, All right, so right, I go up to talk to, um, the lady. No vines in his mm -hmm. butt. And what are you saying? Hey, uh, looking f <laughs> we're looking for a, a druid with a very powerful creature. Um, could you be more specific? Uh, it's very. Don't need druids with a plant like familiar or yeah. Anything. It has uh, vines and maybe it produces apples. Uh, well, <laughs> that uh all depends <laughs> on how much money you have. How much do you need? I don't know. Make me an offer. Hmm. God damn it. <laughs> of course, we're uh, out of fairly character. broke. Yeah, out of character, I only have like eight gold, ca uh, eight carded gold. So I don't know. You have other gold. Yeah, but that's worthless. <laughs> you don't know the kind of situation other people are in. Alright. Uh. How how does five hundred Faerunian gold sound? She says that sounds fine to me. Yeah. Hand it all over. Let me get some information first. I'll take the money first. <laughs> how about I give you half now, then you tell me your information and you get the other half. Uh sounds like a negotiation check. Negotiation check? Diplomacy. Oh, diplomacy? Yeah. Uh, that's not gonna work out, but I'll try. It's whether or not she treats, she treats whether or not she trusts you. Or you could not give her the money at all and make it a bluff. If you're good at bluffing. I'm not good at either. Well, you're a giant orc lady with titties and giant vagina, so. I, I rolled a five. Yeah. So she's like up front or nothing. Well, let, let, let me um, chat with my compatriots. Do you think she knows okay. anything? Yeah, do you guys think she knows anything? Is it worth yeah, I think she just give her all the money. I, uh, I am kind of looking at her. I want to oh, see if it. she seems honest. 
Yeah, can I, can I roll? That's probably a sense motive, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, can I roll sense motive? It's yeah. probably gonna be a bad roll for me, cause well, that's... I'm gonna roll... I'm gonna roll sense motive, cause I have it trained. Uh, what do I have for sense motive? Then do it. Hold on, give me, give me a second. One. Plus eight. Shut up. I rolled a Ooh. nine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I rolled a twenty-four in total. Well, uh... Hannah seems to think she's pretty legit, <laughs> but uh, Nathan seems like getting a shady vibe. Hmm. Well, what, what kind of shady vibe? Do you think like um, like is she lying or is she just yeah? Is she is she lying or does she like think we're under her? She's uh she's not lying, but she's definitely used to swindling people. Oh, all right. But she's not lying, so her information's good. Just give her the goddamn money. Yeah, but it may be a case that she knows what, what we want to know, but she's not going to tell us that she gets the money. Then does sense motive her again. Sense motive her when she's telling the lie, and then if she lies, then catch her on it. Hmm. If not, I'm going to just uh, make a deal with her. All right, but fine, in fine. my opinion, I just want you to give her the money so we can get the goddamn information and then go. Alright, fine. I... I, I... My character's a stupid bitch. Hold on, with my Man. check, does it seem like she's actually going to, like, tell me anything? I gave you the information. Hmm. She's just swimming over people. I, I but, can put so it she's out of the amount. Wait, hold on. Is she that you're not putting it all up. Hold on, is she here by herself? Uh, I mean, she is here in her guild. Oh, so if a fight breaks out, it would not be good for us. No, probably I'd be not. Okay, cause I would just leave you. Plus, okay. uh, the fortune teller is also part of this guild, although has not really any loyalty. But I'm not about to just like be a bitch for no reason. Yeah, but I'm worried that she's just gonna lie to us and just run away with the money. And if a fight breaks out, like they're gonna like have her back, not ours. Well, yeah, of course I'm also they are. Leave you. <laughs> yes. Because you're causing because problems, you don't need to cause problems, you need to give her the goddamn money and get the information to go! Uh, yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna catch her on it, oh my god. <laughs> That's just part of the game. Michael will most likely just be like, well, you know, you got played, you gotta just take the hit and take it Yeah, that's over. exactly what happens, like, if bad things happen, then you have to play as if, like, you don't even know. So, like, don't, <laughs> just, just do things. If you put too much thought into everything, then we're never gonna get anywhere. What does your character? What would your character do? Would your character spend the money, or would your character not want to spend five hundred gold? <laughs> I don't think my character's gonna spend five hundred gold. Okay, then they you can do two things. You can either oh. you I've can try to make a different deal, or you can intimidate her, or we can just go. There's like different things we can do. Um, I'll tell you this. Uh, me and my compatriots, we are mercenaries. If your information is good, we can do a job for you. Well, I mean, I don't have any jobs to do. Hmm. Well, I get need? put on jobs, and then I'd be doing them. Yeah, to a point. <laughs> ah, fine, go it. So, uh, what's her name again? Diana? Who? The, the bitch, this, this hoe. <laughs> Never revealed the name. Oh. Have, do I know her name from working here for a while? I mean, you could. did you ever ask? Or have you been doing your own thing? That's a good point. <laughs> He's like, oh, so, uh, I've seen you work here for some time. And, uh, I work here as well. And I'm pretty sure we have a, a similar business practice, if you know what I mean. Maybe, uh, maybe I can help you with a little bit of your work. And if you just give us a little information. How would you help me with my work? Well, uh... Maybe I can, um, you know, just schmooze up to the other people, give you uh, the stuff that you need to, you know, trick them in whatever way you need to do it. Because as you can tell, I'm a, I'm somewhat of a, <laughs> I'm somewhat of a similar. Um, we both have similar goals when it comes to our work. We, uh, we like out of we character. Work. Do you have any way to cheat? Like, Do I have any way to cheat? divine what other people's cards are and things like that? Yes. Or transmit that information to me somehow? Oh, yes. Um, 
I don't know if you um, if you know of much magic, but I can uh, read some thoughts of other people's and send you some secret messages, and uh, I could uh, I could tip the hand in your favor if you know what you mean if you know what I mean. Well, I would be willing to work out mutually beneficial deals if that's what it takes. Yeah. Cause like, come on, we 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 uh we let us gotta stick together. Anyway, now you're about to see how loyalties are in the refugee guild, cause uh, she's basically saying that her partner is the one that you're probably looking for, and she didn't like him much anyway. Oh. So, Wait, hold on, let me roll sense motive on that. Crap. Um, I got a twelve. Well, you're not really getting anything. Mm. Well, all I know is that I have a partner in crime now, so I better, uh... I'm fine with just, uh, with this information. Does a sense motive of 18 get anything? Uh, sense motive of 18 is, uh, that, you know... Well, you said you were just looking for somebody who had a companion like that. Mm. Well, that is the truth. Mm. Okay. So she's not lying. Yeah. This is what happens when you just do things. You get something. You go just deal with it. Just, just don't, like, try too hard. But you guys already know that uh, she was also there. <laughs> oh. At the time of the crime. Uh, okay. Yes, because she's... This was her partner in crime. This is the part yeah. of the crime. So she you was her know from was... the detect thoughts that there were three people, male, female, yeah. monster, their partners, that's male, female, monster. <laughs> yeah, it's very simple. Which means she probably also knows where the diamond is. Yeah, but we haven't told her why we're looking for this person. Nope. I'm pretty sure she knows why we're looking for this person. Because they were... Why else would we look for someone unless they've done something? And they clearly have done something. I should have bought some manacles. <laughs> She's not gonna be like, "Are you looking for a date?" No, no, that's not that's not the reason. We could be, so, you don't know. She would I'm be willing. Sure she can make very common assumptions. She's a thief. She knows how. She knows how these things kind of these things these kind of things work. She would be willing to sell her partner out, in other words. Yes, because we're yes. oh my god, we're just trying to survive. This is how people. This. Is, oh, uh, Mario, uh, what's your name? Tamare. No, not your character. The uh, girl we're talking to. That'd be her Gaz. Name. Her name's Gaz? Yep. I rolled an 18. Is that a real name? Or do I detect any falsehood for detecting nope, that's the real name. Right. Nope, her name to me is just Bitch with Cards. She is actually <laughs> one of my old characters. Huh. Oh. Gage! Our characters need to be lesbians together. This is the future. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we have to base this off of real life, Gage. Yes, we are lovers. We are, we are hundred percent lesbians together. Hundred percent orange no jusu. Yes. All right. So moving on. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, thank you for your. Uh, thanks for the information you gave us. No problem. I hope you can bring people to justice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See you later. Yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, I'm assuming the three of us are walking out of the guild? Mm-hmm. Okay, like, do you guys want to, like, try to find out when she's alone and arrest her? <laughs> well, Wait, who? The woman the we just talked to! Just talk to but Why would I arrest her? This is my business partner! Because no, we're going to get the money! Arrest, we're going to arrest your former partner, aren't we? Well, yes. I don't see why we can't arrest her. Because I want to work with her. Because I want money. Wow, I don't trust you guys anymore. I'm gonna leave you guys. Hmm. But we are gonna try to arrest your former partner, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go find that guy first. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. This this girl, she just uh, she just did what I thought was right. Cause fuck the cards. <laughs> He's uh, you know, you might be able to find out where he is from Michael. No. Yeah. Alright, let's go to Michael and ask Michael where he is. Marky! Yeah? Tell us where uh, this man is. This man? I forgot his name. <laughs> I don't remember uh, giving one. Oh. But, uh, 
It's Mike. Michael's the name of the barkeep. And yeah. He's the leader of the guild. Mm -hmm. yeah, he doesn't appreciate your, you know, informal nature. Oh. What? He wants you to call him Lord Michael. Of the. It's not uh, a guard. No. Yeah, but he's, he's still just leader. like, you can use my name and not call me Barkeep. I'm sorry. Well, that's what you mean. I'm sorry, Michael. <laughs> my apologies. I was just in the mood. Um, Michael. <laughs> uh, for chance, do you happen to know, uh, where the whereabouts of her druid partner is? He's on another job right now. Okay. Investigating, uh, the mold problem. What? Oh, the mold. <laughs> you know, being a druid, he might be able to identify things. Oh. Yeah, Wait, what? this mold. What's his name? The Druid? Yes. I don't know. I like to keep names out of things. That's fine. Well, I'll, I'll just go, I go back to the, uh, the, the girl we were talking Gaz. Uh, what's the name of your partner? The guy you don't like very well? I'm just going to look for <laughs> Druid with Plan. I'm already on my way. <laughs> it's Auric. Auric? Yeah. I'm I'm going with him. Yeah, to essentially. Look for the druid. Oh, okay. Or, um. Hmm. Well, um, I talked to Gaz. Uh, what exactly? Oh, what exactly do you mean by bring him to justice? Well, I assume you're trying to bring him in for something, right? You're going what downtown. What makes you think that? Hmm? You're going downtown. Uh, shut up! Shut up! What makes you think I'm trying to gas? What makes you think that? That I'm trying well, to take it. Why else would you be after somebody who w works for the Refugees Guild? Maybe I have a job for him. Maybe we want to team up. There's all sorts of reasons. Uh, huh. So you'd be looking for somebody specifically who you apparently have no knowledge of. <laughs> well, obviously I have knowledge of him or else I wouldn't be looking for him. Yeah, and, uh, you know, why would you do that and not just talk to Michael about finding somebody to do a job. Because I heard about this guy is really powerful. Yeah, well, I talk to we do guy. hiring through Michael. Well, I know that. I just got here. I, I got here literally. You don't need to t explain it to me. Just go about your business. Alright. All right. <laughs> so are we going after him? Uh, yeah, I guess we're going after him now. I'm already. I already left. No, yeah. I, was, I figured. Yeah. Well, that way. All right, I go off uh, and I try to catch where up. Where are you to leaving to? To the mold place. I'm gonna go to where they uh where we first got the job and ask them about it. Oh okay. Yeah. So uh, you're asking them where the find the mold? Yeah. I, I catch up with the rest of the group. Um, I don't think we need to arrest guys because once we catch his partner, hopefully we take him alive. Then they'll interrogate him, and the, the cards go arrest uh, Gaz after that. And then I'll lie to the guards and let Gaz go free. Okay. If I'm you want, anyway. If that's your prerogative. I didn't tell you that. So this. you're going and asking about the mold job. Yeah. They say they have somebody, some a group already working on it right now. So I mean, we can tell you where it is, but you probably won't get paid for it. That's, That's fine. fine. That's fine. Okay. We're just so gonna see if they need any help. Giving you the location of where it is. You guys can head out. Alright. We head out. Alright, so... Before we leave, I'm going to ask how many people are in the group that is working on the mold problem. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, nothing big. There's only two. Um, well, both human? I mean three, if you count the other thing. That's okay. fine. Well, can you tell us anything briefly about the two people? Well, I mean, there's some druid from the refugees, and then there's a, uh, some new card okay. who just came in recently. Hmm. That could be trouble if the card's with him. Probably one yeah, of it's a... Uh, well, the card is is just what a fighter type. Uh, I don't really know much about him. I know he hangs out at the Crafters Guild a lot. Yeah. 
when, oh. when they came in here, did they have a lot of equipment, a lot of weapons, or were they just, you know, regularly dressed or heavily armored or anything unique about them that you could tell me? Not that I could see. Well, like, did they have, like, heavy armor or some kind of armor and, like, a sword? Nope. Really? Yeah. Alright. They might so, be spe uh, spellcasters. These are long lost, uh, monk people. <laughs> <laughs> I, we may be dealing with two spellcasters, basically, is my, my thought on this. I don't know, we'll find out. Player knowledge, but just just to have an idea what we're walking into, basically. So, right, now yeah. I'm ready to head out. Yeah, let's, let's go get him. It was a uh, good question, though. Yes, I'm so glad you asked that. <laughs> yeah, if, I, if we expected to come across just him and the, 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 the plant thing, I keep wanting to call it a shambling mound. Because <laughs> it sounds like... But, uh... Him and the pl him and his plant companion, and we then then there's another person there. That's a surprise. We don't well, want to be surprised by that. Actually, before we leave, yeah. I want to also make a note that the person who's also with them is Cardic. So yeah, that's probably how um, they would get a guy found out if uh, they revealed to see it, anything. It might have been through him. Uh, before before I leave, this guy who's telling him about the job. Um, how common are apples in this place? I'm assuming they're rare? Yes. Um. Well, that's all I need to know. Thank you. Bye. Are you trying to Thank you, buy bye. some? <laughs> what? What? Are you trying well, to buy some? No. No. <laughs> Why would you ask then? <laughs> well, can you just get out of here? Our... <laughs> I was leaving. I said bye. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> It, that uh, that is kind of curious why that guard was muttering about apples. Ugh. Maybe All this right. like monster creature just has apples on them. And, like before well, he didn't specifically say that anything about the apples being on the creature. He just was muttering about apples in conjunction with the creature. I choose to believe that this creature, right before he attacks you, says, "How you like these apples?" <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, let's head for the, the area where the mold is. Yeah. I don't want these, this apple thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, it's apples and oranges. Yeah. So, you get to uh, a certain portion of the unpopulated areas. Mm hmm. And uh, there seems to be a strange plant growing on some of the houses around the area. Well, mold. But, um, so what are you going to do now? I'm going to roll a perception check to see if I see, like, Auric or the card. Mystery card. Yeah. Alright. I got a 21. 21, huh? Yeah. Well, uh, little ways down the street further up you can uh, see that there's a few people one of them is seemingly taking samples off of one of the buildings into a vial hmm. did anybody ask for a description? just look for the giant plant yeah and then yeah. look to see if there's a cardic nearby and then there we go well, we don't know what cards look like. He just has a car. He just has a. Well, we know cards. Yeah, we know what the tattoos look like. Yeah, but it might be like under a shirt or something. It has to be a place where we can see them. Hmm. Well, I mean, wouldn't it be like he could have to pull down his shirt in order to see if, like, if it's on his chest or something? Well, meanwhile, the plant's gonna be a dead giveaway. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm assuming you don't see that. No, you you uh, do not see it currently. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to detect magic again. Okay. It's a zero level thing for me, so I can pretty much do it any time. Yeah. How'd you get out? She sneaked past me when I went to go get John Candy. Oh. <laughs> John Candy. Okay. But no, um... There is nothing that you can see besides little pinpoints that are underneath the ground. 
Okay. So there's not a spell up concealing it. No. Um, it's just it's not here. Underground. Yeah, unless it's underground. All right. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna cast message. Hey, what? Hey, move your hands. No. Let go. The box is in the. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I I'm going to cast message on the the guy examining the uh, moss. Okay. okay. Um, I want to say to him. Who are you, and why are you in our territory? Why did you just say that? What? Hello, uh, who are you, and why are you in our territory? Bluff check? Yeah, it would be a bluff check, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know what? Uh, let's just go with it. No, no, yeah. I, I want no, to do that. Uh, you roll that bluff check. Alright, fine, I'll roll the, roll the bluff check. I have an 18. <laughs> okay, he's rolling sense motive. He's a druid, so aren't they wisdom based? You don't know yeah. that's druid. Anyway, so uh, he's like, "Oh, I didn't know anyone lived out here." That doesn't answer my question. Wait, hold on. Let me roll. Let me probably What's the question again. Who are you? What are you, you doing? Who here? are you? What are you doing in our territory? He just said, "I didn't know anyone lived out here." That doesn't answer my question. At least answer it one. It does of them. answer one of them. Yeah, but what's the other one? The main question. Well, uh, he's saying my name is Wedo. I'm right since I'm motive. We're here looking into this mold. Uh, I rolled an 11. For the Cardic Confederacy. Oh, uh, are you one of the card, uh, the Cardic people that were sent here? To just clarify, cards wear uniform colors. Is he wearing uniform colors? I mean, he doesn't have a uniform, but he is wearing Cardic clothes. Hmm. Okay, well... So he's not. He's, he's the Cardic. Not the person. Yeah, he's the Cardic. He's not. He's the person wearing red impressed. and black. Red and black. Oh, that uh, sounds nice. Is is anyone else here with you? Uh, there's another person standing off to the side. Can we see him? Yeah. Huh. So there's two people here. I thought you said there's only one person. No, here. I said off in the distance. There's a few people, and one of them is. Okay. Oh. So. Oh. Okay. So they're both there. Yeah. How many people are here? There's two. Okay. Um, that would be. Uh, I rolled a f fifty on sense motive. Sense motive on what? Like the last His thing. Name. <laughs> um, I think I already rolled that and I failed that one. But um, I don't know. Never mind. Don't worry about it. That's <laughs> step back a bit. <laughs> While he does the talking, because he seems real good at it. The other guy is uh, just staring. At what? Waiting. What's he staring at? You guys. Uh, I should have, like, hid somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, hello. Are you from the uh, Refugee Guild? What's it to you? I'm also from the Refugee Guild. I well, don't, I don't uh, think... Uh, I think I've seen you around a little bit. Maybe. I'm the fortune teller who tells fortunes in the corner. I've probably seen you. Anyway, yeah. somebody's already on this job, so if you were looking for payout, it's already taken. Uh, well, no, we're here for different reasons. But, um, have you happened to find out what's the cause of the, uh, mold to begin with? Uh, well, we're just waiting for what Weto says that it's, uh, Veldrain mold, and, uh, that's bad news. Apparently oh, the God, cards what does that were mean? hoping it wasn't that, but uh, he's taking back samples to bring proof to them. We're gonna burn it all as much as we can find and hope that we get rid of it. <sighs> okay. It creates vampires. What? Yep. How? Let's do that. Uh, if you're in an area that it's in for too long and breathe in spores, you will eventually turn, and also if you ingest it. Huh. Oh my god, give me some! Why would anybody <laughs> eat that? <laughs> because it sounds amazing! <laughs> that would be a terrible thing in this world! Oh god, so, uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're 
trying to burn it before it becomes some kind of infestation. Yeah. Alright, I talked to the rest of the, our, our party. Like, what do you guys want to do now? Well, we came here for a job. Just do it. Yeah, we have to arrest him. Well, I think we should wait till they're done with their job, because it sounds kind of important. Yeah. Um, how about we, uh catch them in the act of their job, and then we can get money for both jobs. Ta-da! <laughs> well, except for there the you... card isn't guilty of anything, so he can yeah. just get paid. That's fine. I was gonna say, is there any way to communicate? What? Do you still have a message up? Yeah, I do. You can communicate with the card. Yeah. But we don't know for sure that the card, uh... Is not Isn't somehow affiliated with him. Right. As far as we know, he wasn't there, so... It, well, I'm necessary. just gonna... I'm just gonna... I just wanna bring up the question to him, because, like, this is... Us, like, huddling together and talking about it is really sneaky to begin with, so we're becoming more and more suspicious, so I'd rather get it out of the way. And then if it becomes a problem, then I'll... Tr then it's easier to talk out of it, if there is an issue, than trying to, like, skirt around it. Mm-hmm. So, what so I'm saying? just gonna be like, well, we're here about the other job, about a robbery, and a diamond was a... Oh, hold on, don't, don't say that yet. Oh my god. It's already been said. Uh, never mind, go ahead. Roll a sense motive, uh, anyone who wants to. I, I will roll sense motive. <laughs> yeah. I, I rolled 17. Get, 17. To get to my computer to do it. I was in bed. <laughs> yep. I got a 17. 17. Yeah. yeah, me too. 16. Bruce. Oh, 17. Ah! <laughs> we all Triple exactly 17. The same thing. Yeah. Let me, let me see what his. So, uh, you aren't sure, but it looked like he tensed at your mentioning of it. Which one? The druid. Right. Yeah, Auric. Oh, what about the other guy? He didn't flinch. No. Does he seem confused? Uh, he's just, just like, okay, well, what does that have to do with being here? Auric. Hi. There was mention of a, a creature. Where's your, um, animal companion? He's, uh, snapping his fingers, and everyone roll grapple checks. Nice. Oh, boy. How does grapple work? Uh, you roll it and add your relevant stuff that affects grapple should be on the sheet or it might is be it called CMA CMD is CMD? Yeah, CMD is, is uh, your defense against uh, well CMD isn't a um, I don't think that's a roll I think that's yeah, just it is. Uh. well oh no CMD is your defense against things C right. so you have to roll so. you have to roll against it so am I rolling CMB? No, it's, that's your. That's if you're doing something. We're not doing anything. We're defending against something. So you'd have to. It's you rolling against us, Cage. Hmm, so what okay. is it? A strength check? I think it's based on strength. It's um. It's ten plus your uh, base attack bonus plus your dex and your strength modifier and then your size. So uh, who beat a twenty-two? Wait. So um. Not me. Is it's not your C the the number that's next to CMD then, right? Okay. What's your what's your CMD? It's what's your what's your base attack bonus? My base attack bonus is two. Um What's your strength? Am I adding that? It's ten plus base attack bonus plus strength plus dex bonuses? Yes, plus size modifier, but plus you're normal. Si well so I don't have a size up. modifier. So what is it? I don't think any of us beat 22. It's way too okay, early for it is that. that number. Yeah. Now, it, so we're we're rolling that, right? D20 plus that number. No, it's just oh, he okay. he's rolling against our CMD. Oh, okay. Oh. No, CMD is 16. Yeah, my CMD is 17. Yeah, none of us would make it. So all of you guys are wrapped up in the vines of the creature, and it has kind of a uh, like. Venus flytrap like mouth. And uh, he's like, uh, that's where it is. Hello. And you're grappled. And where so, are the uh, apples? What's this all about? Actually, I'm yelling at him. Where are the apples? 
What do you mean? There are <laughs> apples in the vines. Oh, okay, that explains it. Curiosity solved. Curiosity. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what it was like, kind of being like, what the hell's going on here? And Orc is being like, just burn the mold, I'll deal with them. And so he's like, okay then. Uh, I'm gonna yell out that, that he is the thief who stole the, the diamond out of the rich I don't guy's think the guy whatever. cares right now, he yeah. just wants to not die. <laughs> so, uh, That's yeah. What do you want to going bring out. me in then? I I got um I forgot the oh Wedowick? What's that guy's name? Wedo. Wedo. Um I tell him that uh, this guy robbed the cards and they're gonna be upset and so maybe um Oryx survives this fight, but if you're still with him, eventually the card's gonna send somebody strong enough and big enough to take out both of you. So you can help us. I'm not linked to destroyed. that at all. Widow? Is that, is that what he said to me? He's not linked to that? Yeah. He had nothing to do with any robbery, so they wouldn't come after him for anything. Yeah, but he's with them. He's hanging out with them. So, I'm doing a job with somebody. Whatever. Mm. People the, work with others all the time. And the cards aren't going to be upset about that? I'll just say know. I didn't have any idea. I hope they believe your lie. Ah, uh, well, I don't think you'll be around if you keep talking. I think it's time to strength tech, check, or whatever. Whatever role I gotta do to try to break out of this. Well, he's... you haven't asked answered his question. Oh, wh what's, I forgot what his question was. Orc was asking, so you're here to bring me in or something? Or something. Orc. I don't know about these people, but I was just trying to get some things resolved. We're fellow refugee guild members. Oh! I know how th Oh my god, what now? <laughs> no, you go ahead, go ahead. I know how things are dealt. You can, uh... You can deal with these guys, and I'll be on my merry way, and I won't say another word. I know, uh, how thing How... How things can happen, and maybe just, uh... With a minor slip, I'll just, uh... I'll just leave, and no one will have to know anything. Um... What? Uh, are you lying at all? Yeah, one more bluff. Yeah. I rolled a nat 20, so 25. He got a nat 20 as well. <laughs> so, uh, he's saying, like, I don't think I can trust you. I know how, uh, trustworthy fellow refugee guild members are. Yeah, I suppose that is true. <laughs> Wait, I have a question for, um, Oric. Why'd you steal the money? Is it just for money, or did you do something with it? It was a job. I don't even have any of it. You stole okay, the money. The job. We get our jobs from Michael. God um, damn it! That makes sense. Uh, uh, it was mostly Gaz that took all the loot. I was only there for the diamond, and that was what I was tasked to get. And uh, when they were like, "Can I have the rest?" I was like, "Have at it. I don't care about money." So, uh, yeah, I just took the diamond to fulfill my contract. The rest mm. was just cherry on top. Did they, tell you, mm. did they tell you what they needed the diamond for? I don't ask questions. Hmm. You're well, obviously I suppose not that's somebody just, into it. I suppose that's just the way things are. But Auric, please, um... If you let me go, as a ref as a refugee member, I can just help you in other missions. I did find you in this uh, in this job, didn't I? I have my uh, skills as well as you do. Clearly, as I uh, am trapped right now. <laughs> <sighs> well, uh, what if I were to ask you to prove your loyalty? <laughs> dun dun. Okay. Okay. If I let you out of the grip, then would you be willing to kill one of your allies? God damn it! The biggest issue is I cannot kill anybody. I'm actually quite weak. I'm only good at using, um, finding out information, pretty much. While they're doing this, I'm going to use my, my, uh, 
elemental ray special ability from my bloodline. Does it come creature. out of your eyes? Um, looking at it here, it just because says starting you can't at first really level. Cast when you're it's not a casting. It's not a spell. Starting at first level, you can unleash an elemental ray as a standard action, targeting any foe within 30 feet as a ranged touch attack. Of course, I'm grappled, so I don't know if it would be it's ranged. It depends on what range touch attack is, but it's called just a ray. Yeah, it's and it's not a spell. It's a it's spell like ability. I'm spell like ability, so I don't. Yeah. But have um, if component. it's uh, if it's if it's like a ray, most ray spells are shot from the hand, and they so. Well, I mean, if it's if it's allowed me, to be touching, you just touch it and shoot it yeah. off. Then that's fine, I suppose. It does. You're gonna plant though. That should be fine. Yeah. yeah. Now it's gonna be electric because I'm my elemental type is air. Well, it's gonna shoot me too, and I'm gonna be really sad. Yeah, I mean, no, all it's of actually you it, it's a ray, so it will only go in one direction. I mean, it's you're all touching the same thing, getting hit. Yeah, though it is a a plant. Mm -hmm. it doesn't conduct electricity very well. Yeah, and everything's made of water, so. Oh, that is true. When do well, you to damage? This is why I die. One. Good job. Well, we did it. It's not that much damage. Anyway, roll the damage. Yeah. 1d6 plus 1 for every 2 sorcerer levels, so that's 1d6 plus 2. Alright, roll it. Oh, I'm trying to make a deal on everyone's fighting. What the hell is happening? Yeah. I mean, the deal would work for you, not so much for no. Nathan. Who do would I obviously have to roll to hit victim. it first? Yeah. Do uh, I have to roll to hit it first since it's touching me, or can I just... I mean, you are technically touching it, so... so it's already... I'm all, it's already hit. You just let it go. Let it go. Oh, and I just hit reset instead of roll. Let it go. <laughs> oh gosh, eight points. Okay. So, it's taking that damage, but it's not letting go. Can I roll a grapple check? Yeah. Yeah. You can roll opposing grapple. So that's uh that's not really breaking out of it, but it's like fighting it, and I think you end up grabbing it and then you have to let it go. How does that work when he's already grappled? It's really weird, I don't really know. <laughs> I suppose right, he's trying to grapples. wiggle out of the grip is more so like I it. think gra grappling changes like who's in control of the grapple, so once I'm in control of the grapple I can just let go and dive, jump away from the uh Yeah that usually is. Veins. Or I can just keep on grappling and dominating the vines. Wait, what kind of gra- does the- does the familiar have improved grapple? Yes. Okay, then he does provoke. Um... Mm, mm, let's see. If you're all grappled, you can attempt to break the grapple as a standard action by making a combat maneuver check, or escape artist. <laughs> Alternatively, if you succeed, you become the grappler. So, yeah, combat maneuver. Combat maneuver or um, escape artist would work. Yeah, I don't have escape artist trained, unfortunately. God damn it. Uh, I rolled a 12. I highly doubt that beats a CMD. Yeah. I doubt it. Yeah. So you still are grappled. Yeah. Grappled. <laughs> You're grappled in his guippas. <laughs> It is gross. <laughs> I don't like that you that word. And he's like uh, gonna walk over to Hannah's character and be like, "Don't do that again." Tell it to let me go. I'll let you go when I think that you are not, not a, threat. a threat. Yeah. So Weto is starting to set fire to things. You know, that's a pretty good point. We just took a different job. We don't care for the cards. Yeah. They're still a food job. Yeah, that was us too. God damn it! Uh, Gaz took a pretty hard beating on that mission, but uh, we got a lot of money for it. Hmm. As, this, uh, well, as I said, though, I can just uh, leave it all behind. And um, if you need any help on missions, and when it comes to getting some information, I can help you. That's that is my specialty. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we all just get a different. But thing. as I said, I'm not a fighter. I can't really do a lot of that. Though I can heal, but that's the furthest. <laughs> that's the most that I can do. He's uh, going to be letting two of you go and keeping Nathan grappled. What? Why is he keeping me? Because he's not sure about you. Because you're the only one arguing. <laughs> I also want to say we should get a different job. Yeah, I'll just I'll just get a different job, no problem. If it turns out to be you again, I'll just pick a different job. This really isn't worth it. Well, then leave. Thank you. I will leave. And, uh... We did it! Good job, everybody. He's, uh, saying to Bruce's character that if you need a card that you can trust, Wedo isn't like the other ones. He doesn't even live within the populated zone. Hmm. Oh, is he one of the black cloaks? You don't know. He's just a guy who uh, decided to buy a house in the unpopulated area away from the other cards because he wants to live in his own. He's actually thinking of setting up a bar with me. Aw, that sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe we can help you with that bar. No. Yeah, you're doing too much now. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, I have a walking food source, and he and have cooking skills, and he's alchemical and can make booze, so... That's amazing! Water in a grill! Well, al alchemy is actually one of my areas of interest. Well... We're all becoming thieves, but no, I'm probably just gonna stay with the, um, the other, the other guild. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to see this turn his right you are around. his guild. Huh? <laughs> no, like, I'm probably just gonna stay in the other bar or not theirs. Yeah, I know. I'm. Nobody's saying we're gonna start up any rival guild. We're still part of that guild. No, I, well, I'm not saying it in character. Oh, well. Weto's actually part of the crafting guild. Uh, Ooh. I'm just uh, a bitch that reads minds. That's all I do. <laughs> anyway, uh. Our job seems to be done here, so we'll take okay. our leave. Don't we'll talk just, about um, me to anyone, or I'll have to come find you. Okay. Yeah. But we'll just, we're still gonna collect money though. We're just gonna say that, um, we're just leading them in a different direction. Don't worry. Yeah, it's a good idea. Well, uh, see you around. And see ya. they're leaving. Well, I will. So, what are we gonna do? Just go back and tell them that we couldn't find anything out? We're gonna tell them that, um, we'll just lead them in a different direction. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, no, I mean when we go, because we're under a contract. Yeah, we yeah. said we didn't find anything. What are they gonna say? No, no. Well, we just need to have this, our story and we... Oh, okay. Go back uh, and tell us. The, the guard wouldn't, couldn't tell us anything, because that's true. And mm -hmm. the other guard doesn't know that... We and we'll just say that there was a some sort of tentacle beast, and we could not find it. We won't well, say we don't it's even vines. know that. We'll say, no, we won't say it's vines. We'll just say it's a tentacle beast, and that's fine. But just leave it at that. Where did we get that information? I read his mind. Let's just say that it's so easy. <laughs> well, because the the information that we can say that we found, that anybody could see that we found, was actually less than that. We can easily go back and say, well, all we could find were, was that the house was full of leaves and the guard was traumatized and he's afraid and nobody, you know, he, won't, uh, he won't talk about the, the experience. And the other guard didn't see anything. Okay. What were we going to go back with before? <laughs> well, that was it. Unless we went back and... You know, unless we had taken him in or went back and turned him in, which we're planning on not doing. There is no, there's no evidence that anybody would have to prove that we knew anything about the creature. Aside from that chick that we talked to at the guild. Mm -hmm. Um, can we talk about what went wrong with this mission? Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> 
are the other two, the orc and widow, are they still here or did they leave? I mean, you guys, they walked away to go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're saying this as we're leaving because things are on fire. Yeah, you guys we're... are actually heading to the same place. Oh. So. Well, we're not going the same way. We said we had, we're going to walk out of there a different direction. Yeah, All let's, right. let's go to a different area and then talk about what went wrong. Okay. I think. Well, what went wrong was we didn't watch behind us to see something sneaking. He up was on actually us. above you. Yeah. Or was he? Yep. Also, He's up between two buildings. Also, we should hide whenever we're gonna approach someone. <laughs> well, but, that was your bad. Yeah, you sent a message. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to like, I forgot to hide, and so I was gonna like. Like, be hidden somewhere and then send a message out to that guy so I can talk to him without him knowing where I was. Well, that didn't go over well. Yeah, it didn't. I'm, I'm aware of that. <laughs> Alright, well, the details were discussed. Alright, so. Does it sound alright what I described? Uh, that you were just gonna give them vague details? Yeah, basically the only details we give them are details that it can be proved that we knew. Yeah. Obviously the lady at the guild, not by, not notwithstanding, the, you know, the lady at the guild because she's not going to talk because she's a member of the guild. I mean, it's not like you can't tell them what the guard was saying. It's not really enough right. evidence for anything. Just about... be like, he said stuff about vines and apples and you know, there were leaves everywhere. That's there about all we know. Are, are they gonna pay us for that, or just what? The, uh, the vault was broken into th by force, pulling it open. And, and the seal know. to the door was not damaged. Yeah. The door was intact, you know, to the catacombs. So we yeah. can't imagine what he was talking about. You'll just have to, uh, either... Assume it was just some creature from below, or that maybe something else happened that we don't know. We don't have to give them all the information. We don't really have to give them much. We just we have to just tell them what we found out, and they'll pay us something. Yeah, let's do that. Which is fine. I don't really care too much. All right. So we go back and we tell them that basically. Okay. Basically, so, uh, only the details that the other guard could see that we had learned. So you said that there were leaves everywhere? That the we described the the leaves that we saw, you know. What we saw. The guy, what we the guy was mumbling about. Yep, which was pretty much nonsense. Well And uh, that he talked about being afraid, uh, he and and he wouldn't say anything. And when we asked him questions, he was dodgy and wouldn't answer. Are you gonna say that there were three people involved? Do we have to? Well, we didn't ask him about three people because we weren't we weren't openly. I'm just letting asking him know what we knew. So no. Okay. Well, uh, sounds like something having to do with druids. So uh, we'll just keep that. Close and uh, here's hundred cardic gold. Thank you. I say never. Uh, never mind. I'll take thirty three and let's go back home. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back and help um, guys. All right. You guys are uh, making eight gold that day. Um, when's the next time we're going to be all together? Because I want to talk about what just happened. What? Probably the next day. Or if you come yeah. visit me, because I'm just going to be at the... Pretty much, if you need my help, then I'll just be here. And then I'm probably going to ask Michael for jobs. And if he has an interesting job, then I'm probably going to come to you if I need help. Or probably to Oric and Gaz if I need help. Depending yeah. on... If it's, if it's a job that involves, like, lying a lot, then I'll probably be with them. If it needs, like, some righteous glory, I'll bring you, <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, 
Well, since the card's going to be looking for druids, that druid guy's probably going to come looking for us. Mm -hmm. So, we got to be prepared for that. It's yeah, possible, well. but the fact is they were going to find that much out anyway. Yeah, there's plans everywhere. Plus, they um, might, Basically, uh, they we might limited the information the we folks. gave... I was going to say, we limited the information we gave them to information yeah. that they there's were gonna, there's going to They're find probably going to make an assumption it's one of the black cloaks that did it. Yeah, mm. but in any case, we did limit the information we gave them to information they would have found out yeah. regardless. You didn't mention his name or him specifically, so... Yeah. You still kept your word as far as he's concerned. Oh, okay. That's cool. He uh, just said, don't talk about me to anyone. <laughs> and I didn't. Except I'll probably talk to him. I like about him to Gaz. I'll be like, well, yeah. Douche. She's probably going to be, you know, disappointed. <laughs> be and like, oh, you're, we'll just you're do typical refugee stuff and we'll be like, well, you know how it goes. <laughs> yep. Just like, well, you know. I tried to make some money off you. Nope, nothing personal. And he'll be like, God damn it. Okay. <laughs> and they just like won't work together for a while. And that's pretty much it. No, they probably will just go right back to working together. Mm. Hopefully invite me. But, uh, yeah. They okay, mind it depends on if there's oh. jobs. Okay, are there any non cardic jobs we can take? I mean, that depends on guilds that you are part yeah, of. Yeah, is this the next day? Yep. I'm assuming it's the next day. Okay, then, um, um pretty much, if, uh, well, if I see anybody going up to Michael, I'll probably ask him. It's like, Michael, do you have any, um, anything interesting today? Well, I mean, you can go on another, uh, food run, or you can also <laughs> be involved in robberies, if you uh, are interested in any of that. Um, uh, is there any active jobs right now that like other people are taking that need any anybody help? I mean, Gaz and Auric go on jobs if you wanted to tag along. Yeah, sure, might as well. If we need any okay. um, surveying or just like distractions, I can do that. But yeah, we uh, we raid the Cardic food stores and then we. Distribute Perfect. them. Welcome. Yep, we distribute them to everyone else. So I was right. Yep. Yeah. So I was right about the whole Robin Hood thing. See, I joined the right guild. <laughs> All weird ass like book people. <laughs> so actually, if you, uh, um, does do that, my guild fine. have any work that's going on? Your guild uh, wants people to investigate, uh, see if they can. Uh, translate any illithid runes or look for anything magical going on in the walls. Let's do that. Yeah, I kind of like that idea too because it, uh, it actually looks to be more um, solution oriented. Yeah. So it does... I'm out stealing food. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot your character's name, but do you want to hang out? Do you want to tag along with this mission as well? I think she has her mission. Yeah, it's Mark. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm already out. You come to the inn, you ask me, I'm not even there. Mm. Well, I, don't, I don't want to go without the three of us. He'll be fine. No, he won't. <laughs> Well, the thing is that, like, you have to understand that, like, this is a very open, like, campaign. Like, yeah. none of us really know each other, so I really have, like, no strong connection to either of you. Yeah, no, but out of character, I just think it'd be, it would take too long if we're always doing separate stuff. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> now, I've never really played with a group that did much of that. In fact, the one of the first rules is you don't split the party because <laughs> you're more likely to uh, get killed. <laughs> Get picked off by the, the DM. Yeah. Well, we all three were together and we almost died just like two seconds ago. Heads up. Yeah, imagine what happened if you're by yourself. He's I'm with not. Two people. Yep, <laughs> he's with two other people. That's the thing. You can, like. Um. NPCs are, like, totally a thing. You can probably find other people doing the same job. <laughs> uh, yes. Alright, here's, here's, here's what we should do, right? We also find jobs separately that magically end at the same time, and then we get back together and do a mission together. 
mean, that's, that's how it always goes. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I'll um, I'll go to Mike. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mike. Sir Mike. Uh, yeah. Do you uh, even have to have any um, jobs for me? Would you? As far as I know, you're not affiliated with this group. So I can't do jobs? No. We got file cabinets. <laughs> what? <laughs> you say you got file cabinets? Like, you want me to work as a secretary? Because I can do that. I mean, you can work outside as a sign spinner. <laughs> I'm not doing <laughs> Or a lap sack. Maybe have some nice clothes. We can I think, you know, customers. I, 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 more, I, I will do that. Okay. Have a lap sack. You haven't bought any, like... We, we just got some, like, some money. You can buy, like, nicer clothes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to buy a dagger. Oh well, I mean, you know how much it costs. It's still 40, 40 gold? If it's not Cardic. Well, I have Cardic. How much? I have 41 Cardic for the time being. Oh, yeah, All who right. took the extra one? <laughs> that would be him. Yeah, okay. Not me. I, yeah, I said, I said I'm fine with just the big three. Yeah, so you can get a dagger for four. It's still... That's like twice as much as regular regularly is. Well, I uh, guess they can't mod. I guess they can mod. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> fine, I'll, I'll buy that. Okay. How much money do I work uh, spinning... How much money do I make spinning signs? You make eight. Ah, cool. Anyway, uh, what was your plan, Hannah? Since we got a sign spinner going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I might just wait until these guys are done with what they are, with, with the jobs that they were working on and see if I can get them together to come with me to, uh... Well, you can just say that you're doing your, uh, you know, scribe duties and yeah. you make some money. And I, I, yeah, well, I can do that while I'm waiting. Yep. Have once, some uh, money. Once I can get the guys together, though, if I, uh, the gals together... <laughs> I'm going to suggest uh, that mission. All right, getting that information. Well, you uh, are making eight gold, and uh, then we're gonna go over to Bruce, who's heading out at the, uh, you know, when the sun starts going down, quote-unquote, since it's, you know, it goes down on a timer because it's magic. <laughs> anyway. And, uh, he's heading out with Gaz and Oric. Yeah. And so, uh... Gaz and I are pretty much just scissoring the entire time. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> 100%. How is your stealth? My stealth? Mm -hmm. Um, it's pretty good if I use blend. It's plus. Well, roll it. Okay. Um. Two. Okay. Uh, thirty. Nice. Uh, wow. Fork is bad at stealth. Okay. That's fine. So you guys are getting to one of the warehouses, and there are uh, no guards around, as far as you can see. So uh, he's like, "Anyone want to pick this lock?" And uh, that's not my special thing. Gonna come up and kabam! Natural seventeen picks the door open, and uh, you walk inside. In the darkness of the room, you can see glowing red eyes. Is it Santa? It's Santa. Anyone got light? Um, how dark is it? I mean, it's a building inside at night, so with no <laughs> lights. Okay, we see red eyes. Yeah. Okay, I'll cast light uh, on... Um, just I have one of my daggers, I guess. How long does it last? It lasts. It's a cantrip, so it lasts. Um, I can just keep casting it. Okay. 
Well, uh, in the shadowy illum illumination, you can see a steam jack, and it's guarding the food stores. A steam jack. Yep. And is that all we see? Yep. And the food, obviously. You guys came with a wagon that's outside. Uh, let's see. What are we gonna do about the steam jack? Was this here before, guys? It's a different storehouse, but uh, they are th around sometimes. Guards are easier to take out. This is what gave me the beating. Uh... What do you know about steam jacks? I've heard about them, but they're not, they were never... Um, I don't really know anything about them, really, at all. They're some kind of amalgamation of uh, magic and mechanica. They uh, hit really hard and are armored, <laughs> so... Okay, can you help me get like a picture of like what the room looks like? It's just a standard, um, you know, rectangular, empty warehouse with stacks of boxes with foodstuffs in them. Okay, how and, much food uh, are we taking? Like, one box? We're taking as much as we can fit in the wagon. Okay, how much would that be? Uh, like, a lot. How high is the ceiling? Um, I mean, it's maybe ten feet, something like that. I can, I can deal with this. This isn't that bad. Um, okay. We can, uh, we can do our best to try to get as much as we can out. And then if it, like, is it, wait, is it? It's on a patrol route. Okay, so we'll just have to try to avoid it. The food is, uh, in the center of the building, and it walks in a circle around it. Okay. How do you get, how did you deal with this last time? We fought it. Okay, I guess we can fight it. <laughs> uh, well, we have an extra person this time. Yep. So, uh, what kind of stuff can you do to help? I can heal. <laughs> well, and that's good. I can. I can. The best I can do is just just try to keep you guys fit. <laughs> I suppose. Yeah, Gaz is pulling out a scythe. Oh my god, what? You made her a scythe wielder? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. She oh. she also has sneak attack. Oh my god, why did you make a character like this? <laughs> okay, in that case, um I'm gonna Too bad it doesn't work on constructs because I'm gonna flip immunity. Yeah. Wait, I think it does on um oh no, no it doesn't, not on um not in I don't think it does in Pathfinder. Does it? As far as I know, neither Constructs or Undead are affected by crits or sneak attack. Oh no, you can sneak attack uh, Undead in Pathfinder. Oh. Yeah, that was an update then. Yeah. Anyway. I think... No, you can you can sneak attack them. Because they're not... They're, um... You can hit them with precision-based attacks. Like, you, like, hit them, like, in a specific spot. To, like, break things. Anyway. Yeah, okay. So, uh... You can't hit oozes. Let's roll those initiatives. Okay. I'm going to, um... Before the fight starts, I'm just going to cast Bless on everybody. I'm just going to flip oh, through my right. deck of cards and just, like, flip up a card. Oh, I forgot to um, roll my card for the day. Let me do that real quick. I didn't... I haven't been doing that at all. And it is... I got a wisdom card. Okay, so I can get a plus two to a wisdom skill for today, just once. My initiative is... Uh, it's not very high, it's nine. Well then, let's see what it's... 
Yeah, okay. So, uh, it's gonna be going... Gaz, then you, then it, then Oric. Oric is slow. He rolled a four. I rolled a six. And, uh, his plant goes on the same turn as him. Okay. So, of course, Gaz is going up first to whack it. Whack it. Remember you have bless. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter, because I rolled hella low. <laughs> so, whiff. Complete miss. And now it seems to be aware that there's things happening, and it is uh, your turn. I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself. Oh, okay. Is that it? Uh, yeah, I'm going to step like behind the plan. <laughs> Alright. The plant, uh, or it, is going and punching Gavs. Wow. The plant is punching Gavs. No, I said, I mean, it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's rolling also pretty terribly and missing. So there's missing happening everywhere. Plant goes in. It's just everyone's failing horribly. I'm going to ask everybody, like, as a free action, like, how long... Uh, to move everything out. Uh, I mean, it depends on how strong and how fast somebody is. If you wanted to be moving boxes while we fight. Um, that's fine. That's all, I, that's all I was trying to ask. Alright. Next round I can probably ask more. It's just yeah, eight, yeah. Like, say six things around. Adam's character. Oric is going in and whacking it. Whacking. He's the only one to hit so far. Some good damage there. Kaplonk. Denting its armor. Alright, so uh it is now your turn. The gas do anything? Oh yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting. All right, so that was a miss. Your turn. Uh, you're gonna move boxes or fight, because you're not a fighter. I'm gonna try to move boxes. What's your strength? Um, twelve. All right, you might be able to handle a box at a time. I'm gonna roll a strength check. I mean, you don't have to. Okay. They're just big crates. Yeah. So I'll just and get moving. Yep. And uh, each turn you'll be able to take one there, and then, then you can move back the next turn, take okay. one. <clears throat> so. Alright, and I'm just going to keep rolling while you're doing that to see if anything changes. Fail rolls over and over. Nothing over ten. Oh, there we go. There's some punching on that thing. Miss, miss, miss. No, oh, there's another hit. So much missing. Yeah. People, uh, Gaz just got punched. Oh, and then the plant is smashing into it for shitty damage. How full is the cart? You've gotten, like, three or four boxes. How long did it take? Well, I mean, it's rotations of about four times. Okay. Because, I mean, I have to roll for everyone each turn. Oh, nice. Gaz is critting, but I don't know if that counts for anything against it. I think... I don't think you can crit constructs. Well, if it did, it would be really nice, because sides, I believe, are a times four. Yeah, and times four. So. No modifiers, though. This is a straight-up four. Yeah. Let me see...
It doesn't say it can't, but like I'm not 100 percent sure, so let's just say it can't. Be great. Oh, okay. Well then, I'll just do a little bit of damage. Because, like, crits, crits and sneak attacks are sort of precision based damage. Mm -hmm. And, um. It doesn't say no. It just says that you can't do ability damage, ability drain, fatigue, exhaustion, energy drain, or non lethal damage to it. People are getting punched. <coughs> by the machine? No. Yeah, by the machine. And retaliating. You've got five or six boxes. How much left can I fit into the cart? Let's try to get to ten. Okay. Um, when I come back into the room, is like everyone's still like... Everyone's still up. Uh, some people look more bruised. Can I ask them to like step back for a second? Like, get uh, back really quick? I mean, I don't know how they would do that in the middle of a fight. Okay. They could probably just do like acrobatic or a five foot step. Why do you need them to step back? I want to cast a web, but I don't want them to get too close to it, because I don't want them to get stuck in it. Alright, well, uh, just tell them to back up and they'll do it. Yeah, that's why, that's why I'm trying to say, I was like, back yeah. up really quick. A hit was just made, and they are moving back their next turn, and you're top of the line, so you act okay, first. Okay, I'm going to cast end. web and attach it to the ceiling and the floor in a 20-foot radius spread, and um, has to make a reflex save. What's the save? Uh, 16. Yeah, it made that. Okay. Then it's in the web, but nothing happens, and when it moves through the web, it has to make another save. Okay. So, uh, move in some boxes. Yeah. I will have it, uh... It failed that one. What happens okay, if it Okay, so now it's grappled. Okay. So, you guys are basically being like, grab the last of the boxes and yeah, book it? Yeah, and then just like, yeah, just book it. Alright, you guys are jumping into the cart and riding off into the night. Yeah, the last... orc is like, why didn't you do that in the fucking first place? Hmm. Because, uh, I wanted to move away from the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that went smoother than last time. Because yeah. we had another person. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tend to their wounds. Okay. Using any the, care lights and care mods. Um, the next morning, you are, uh, given payment for your job. Yay! In the form of 200 Kardic. Yay! Wait, all of us are getting 200? Uh, you guys are getting 200 each. Okay. And then how are the others doing? With and Are they still here? That, yeah, I mean, I assume you guys Hello. are uh, done with your questing. Nathan? Yeah? Uh, he finished his quest. Okay, I'm still spinning my sign. Well, no, okay. it's, it's the middle of the night. It's <laughs> the next day now. Uh, Still spinning it <laughs> <laughs> through the night. <laughs> no one's walking around. You just hear screams while you're spinning the sign. <laughs> what about Hannah? You there? Yeah, I'm here. I I was just muted. Um, Sorry about that. Did you all guys want to do that other quest now? Yes. Okay. Are you gonna go with them to investigate the ruins? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now we have a new richest person in the party. Mm -hmm. I knew it was the good thing to join the refugees. Because we can do right. sneaky jobs. And those make the best money. Yep. You guys gonna go to the wall? Yeah, that's where they had asked. That that's where the job was to investigate, wasn't it? In the wall? Yep. Okay. Um, I will gather together the notes that I've gotten from researching it, and uh, All right. I'll show everybody what I found so everybody knows 
sort of a at least a basic idea of you know this is what it looks like in there um, and these are the kind of creatures that people have run up against and stuff like that so we know what we're up against yep and uh, so basically the walls have two levels there is an upper and a lower and uh, you know stairs and whatnot that lead up to the, the high level but uh, it goes all the way it's hollow throughout the entire wall all the way around and I have a basic idea of what's already been uh, transcribed from in there. Yeah, which is not much. Okay. It's basically only what's around the openings that are around the city. <laughs> okay. So, so we basically guards just guards can stand in them and not feel, you know, like things are going to jump out of them. We just need to go a little farther than that, then. Yeah. Okay. So you get to one of the openings, and you can see the vast desert outside. And there's some card guards there. Okay. And they're uh, asking what you're doing. Here for the uh, I, I explain the the, the uh, mission to him briefly, real briefly. All right. I guess we're well, we're going in to transcribe some stuff. They're like, uh, be careful. Thought you might have been. About to try your hand crossing the desert. No. Nope. No, we've heard enough about the desert to not do that. All right. Well, uh, good luck. If we hear screams, we won't be coming. <laughs> okay. Uh, same to you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if we hear screams, we'll be worried. Where do you go from there? If they're screaming outside, and the dangers behind you. Running away, clearly. That is the <laughs> yeah. right. Further to in. Where? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we kind of cautiously go in there. Alright, it looks pretty ruined. Things are crumbled and stuff inside. There are random writings on the walls. Okay. I don't know if any of you have any way to transcribe them. Well, I'm. I've got as a. I didn't prepare. As a profession, I have I have a, a rank in scribe, so I've actually got six points in that. So I can copy Did you bring things down. Paper and stuff yes. for writing. Yes. Okay, that's well, good. Then I can take read it samples. later. Yep. I I couldn't hear you. You could take samples. Yeah. Okay. And I can read it later. I have a uh, copy on languages. Oh, good. But good. just not prepared. <laughs> Yeah, and if he didn't, you could have just taken it back to somebody else. Right. Um, so what I need to do is get past the ones that are already the, the like around the immediate vicinity. Mm -hmm. So basically, and in far enough. Possibly that I find need. anything else that's in interesting. Right. Some ancient relics or some book. Or who right. Knows. And any any area that we go into, we should search. Even if we don't find anything cool in there, we'll at least know that whether or not there's something dangerous in there. So, <laughs> find anything uh, cool. Air of caution. Yes. And, and right. we need to make sure we know the entrances and exits of the each room we're in. And, and if you hear screaming, run away. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Solid plan. All yeah, right. That's plan. So you, does anyone have any light source they could bring? Actually, I can cast light. Okay. Everyone's got light. The spell. Yeah. Well, yeah. We have access to all our cantrips, so we can cast it as, yeah. as long as we've never prepared. had a full group of mages before. <laughs> I actually don't have light. The spell, but it, yeah, but I'm like the least martial <laughs> fighter. All I have is just like some CC spells and mostly just yeah. like role play spells. All right. Well. uh... You cast your light and you wander forth. Mm -hmm. Right, so pretty much more of the same. Some of the rocks are having little patches of grass and weeds growing up out of them. Um, are you going to the bottom or the top level? Actually, there's stuff growing in there? Mm -hmm. In the wall? Yeah. That's interesting. Is light reaching it? 
Well, I mean, you're right at the beginning anyway. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, but um, we should probably go further the, inside. Yeah, stay on I the bet. lower level first. Go further inside, but stay on the lower level at first. All right. So, uh, you're basically going in a curving kind of circle. Very slight curve because it's a pretty huge city, and the circle yeah. won't won't really give an air of turning. You'll only slightly notice it. Um, but yeah, the, the, it's pretty much you guys could stand side by side and still not be like touching the walls. So it's pretty wide in there. Okay. And, and as we go. As you go around, there are some thicker areas in the walls where there are more open areas. Mm -hmm. And you reach the first one of those. And it looks like there is <coughs> skeletons and stuff in this room. Walking around or just lying on the ground? No, just on the ground. Alright. Uh, Sleeping. <laughs> yep. So clearly people have died in here, at least <laughs> previously. Uh, well, well, what they've said about undead leads me to believe the skeletons are not likely to get up and attack us. Oh yeah, well, uh, stop! No, it's I'm running perception. Okay. Uh, so, 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 I'm gonna enter the room with caution. Okay. Oh, I rolled a fifteen. Uh, well, they don't look human. What do they look like? Uh, they don't look like anything you kn would know. Are you a forensic scientist? <laughs> I don't think anyone's a forensic scientist. <laughs> Do they have, have big uh, heads? <laughs> you have knowledge realms? No. Knowledge uh, realms. Oh, like... Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not trained. Because that's what aberration is under. Aberrations are under dungeoneering. Is it? Aberrations and oozes are under dungeoneering. Or maybe it's outsiders' is realms. Outsiders are planes. Planes, yeah, knowledge planes. Anyone have knowledge planes? I do not. Yeah. No. Just Arcana. Well, uh, is it just skeletons or is there anything else? No, skeletons and rocks and. And mystery! I mean, there's Ooh. writings on the walls as there is all, all, everywhere. Does it look like they died here or does it look like somebody dragged them here? Uh, you can't tell. I'm going to just for um, the sake of just just for the sake of caution and putting up a detect magic. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything magical in this room. Okay. Although there is faint auras from other places further in. Okay. Is there an exit beyond, like on the other side? I'm I'm assuming is it open or is there a door? I mean, really, really far away, there should be another opening to an out, like, where the desert would be. Okay, what about be further into the wall? I mean, is there an, an opening to the next <coughs> section of wall and stuff like that? Oh, no. It's completely open the whole way through. Okay. So, keeping an eye, you know, glancing periodically in that direction, I'm going to start copying down... Uh, some of the writing on the wall. Okay, I would like to uh, just um, stay aware. So, like, if I hear any noises, I'll uh, roll perception. See how well I'm listening. 23? 23, huh? Yes. You're listening. Yeah. You just I should... Hear, uh, Nothing. Should double check. This is and an screams. area that's beyond, right? Wait, you hear screams? screams? Yeah, but they're not from in here. Okay. This Just is a, this is beyond where they've already scribed, right? Yeah. Okay. You hear them no. from below. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. Unless they like fly through the ground, then I'll be very sad. I'll be like, God damn it! <laughs> Run away! Ready for this. 
I was gonna take fly, but now I feel like I shouldn't have to take fly. It wouldn't make sense. Flying fortune tellers are not a thing. Well, where would you go? Huh? Out. Well, the main reason a lot of people take fly is because you move it uh, 60 feet per second, yeah. so... <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's very fast for casters to move at. But I think that's a bit cheap, so no, I'm not, I'm not okay with that. Okay. So, ready to move forward? Do I need to do any kind of roll for... I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I'm just basically going to carefully copy any of the writing that I see, and then when I'm done um, copying, we should search the area briefly, too. Roll like, perception, where is my... Oh, Again? Isn't there a... Yeah. Wait, me or just her? Her? Okay. She said she wanted to search more thoroughly. I'm just yeah. trying to keep you safe. There it is. Okay. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. No, just, uh, inhuman skeletons and, uh, rubble. <sighs> I'm gonna try drawing a picture of one of the skeletons. At least oh. the parts that are um, that that make it obvious that it's not human, and just write a brief descriptive notes so that it makes it clear in case my drawing's not very good. Yeah, and uh, in some of the backs of the more human ones, there are holes in them. Yeah, I'll write that down too. Where are the holes? In the back of the skull. Well, I think we have a safe assumption of what happened here. Mind flayers? Yeah. Yes. That those were probably mind flayers and that... The None of us have any plain knowledge, but we can bring, <laughs> we can bring that up. Yeah. Nope. That's why you don't recognize what they are. Wait, we... we didn't we talk about mind flayers when we first got here? Yeah, no. that was just out of character. Oh. Uh, I didn't know it was out of character. I well. said Gizmo was saying that there were rumors about it, but that there was no proof of anything. And uh, Gregory well, we just was talking proof. about the language, which is the language of Mind Flayers, but um, I didn't know about that. Yeah, I think we just found proof. But uh, we can go further in if you guys are okay with going further Actually, in. Actually, we can go deeper. Wait, which parts of the skeletons makes it seem like it's not human? Probably their heads. Yeah, with skulls. Yeah, I, I grow a skull. Okay. Uh, see, That's I'm not going to try good. to carry anything. That's actually a very I'm, good idea. <laughs> I'm not very strong. <laughs> so. All right. All right. So, in, we, in, in further. Like, get up. Okay. Again, probably moving forward slowly. All right. Well, uh, in the next room, you're going to probably want to make a perception check. I will do that. Yeah. Hey, I rolled a 28. All of us? Natural 20. Wait, we're all rolling? Yeah, we're all rolling perception check. I rolled a 23. I rolled a 12. Go, Bruce. You re rolled a 12? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I bet I rolled a 28. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. You're not seeing much, but uh, you can see glowing eyes. I'm gonna quietly point the glowing eyes out to the other two. Hold on, do, do I see the glowing eyes? Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. How long does 
just detect magic last. We can't see the whatever's eyeballs. You can. So we're still lit up because I had the light spell, correct? Yep. Do orcs have dark vision? Well, yeah, I have dark vision. There we go. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't change anything because it's a shadow. Oh. Oh. It, it's a shadow or a shadow? It's a shadow. Is it screaming at us? Uh, not yet. Is it, it moving not. toward us? Yeah. I'm going to cast. What am I going to cast? You can cast. I'm going to run. Yeah, we should be. We should split. I'm running. Split up, gang. Okay. I'll, I'll, sense it, I'll run away. Goodbye. No, we should go. Once I see them running, I follow them. Oh, okay. Moving quickly towards us. I mean, it's starting to uh, move forward and screeching. Yeah, we How much space is between us and it? I mean, it's probably like 20 feet behind you. How wide are the walls? Uh, I don't know an exact me measurement. I tried to give you one earlier. You can um. stand next to each other side by side and still not touch the walls. Hmm. Oh. That's at least, at least 15 plus. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna cast a web behind us. Okay. I mean, it won't work. <laughs> it's a shadow, but I'm trying to do something. Yeah. Like, just kind of freaking out. She's not a battle-ready character. Is it, ca is it catching up to us? I mean, no. It's going to be at the same distance. Okay, then we should be able to all get out. It's uh, when you guys re break the sunlight. Uh, it's s staying like in the shadows right on the edge just staring at you okay and, it stays uh, there yeah it's it's looking at us. and the guards are uh, kind of backing up away from that end <laughs> it's not dark yet we're good yeah you know we have information I'm pretty sure they'll yeah, pay some money. It pays for that. So, I still so, have the skull. So let's take it to the the guy. I'm I'm half tempted to stand there in the light and draw a picture of the shadow in my little notebook. Uh, how much daylight do You're we have? You're gonna color an entire page black except two small dots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, uh, I think they know what shadows look like. I think that's a mystery. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll uh go with the the guys. We'll go back. Okay. So you show up at the Mages Guild. Mm. Are you going to ask for Greg? Yes. Yes. Old oh, Greg. Old oh, Greg. He's also got a mangina. <laughs> what? Anyway. Mangina. I don't. I don't get it. It's a uh, mighty Boosh reference. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, um, let's see. So you're showing him your notes and the yeah. skull. Yes. He's like, this is the proof we've been looking for. Yes. He's gonna take the skull to the guildmaster, and also, uh, I don't know if you mind me taking your journal for a minute. Okay. Unless you take me with it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you're gonna be in the waiting area for a bit while he's going and talking to people. The guild master is going to come back with him after a little while, and he's going to tell you what you found. Basically, the skull was illithid in nature, a uh, mind flare skull, <gasps> no. and that uh, the writings are basically from them, and they talk about how this place is a trap and some kind of twisted joke on them by the gods or something. But uh, they have been using it as a feeding ground because they have a constant food source getting ported in. And uh, they've basically been hiding in the walls and then, uh, you know, luring humans and eating their brains. I wonder if the shadows then are, um, like, 
ghosts or spirits of these dead illicits. Yeah, well, they've pretty much, as far as you can tell, been wiped out. You don't know if there are any surviving ones. Because as yeah. far as you know, no one's seen them, and you have found skeletal proof that there are dead ones. Yay, we did it. Good job, team. Yeah, how much are we going to get paid for this? They were also looking in to uh, trying to get out as well. And they talk about their research, but uh, it wasn't detailed, so it's probably somewhere else. Mm, more exploring might find more information on getting out then. <laughs> Gotta but, find uh, those illithid, Ill illithid labs somewhere. <laughs> I imagine that's probably going to be a higher level mission. <laughs> nope, we're doing it now. Let's go! <laughs> but, yeah, so how much is the job worth that we've done? Well, you you want to get paid? Yeah. Yes, you can get paid. Even though, you know, I thought you were just you in this to help the cause. <laughs> uh, he says he supposes that you can have a hundred card each. Cool. And he hands you your notebook back. I can make copies of everything in the notebook um, so that they actually can have them in the library. Yep. And uh, that's one step closer if we can find out whatever the illithids were working on. Maybe we can take their work and try to progress from there because they probably think in a way we can't even imagine maybe they have unique ideas probably and they probably have crazy. unique knowledge and it's if you know crazy. anything about the lore of illithids nope they're from the future what? yeah Illithids are an alien race that is from the future, and they teleported through time to escape the end of the world. Hmm. That's cool. It's like some Doctor Who shit. Yeah. <laughs> they got killed by the Weeping Angels. <laughs> Isn't that how they kill you? They send you back in time? Yeah. yeah, they do. They send you back in time until basically as many years as your life would be so that you would die at the point they send you back. Hmm. But don't, uh, don't the other two live? Which other two? The, um... One of the doctor's companions, like, they get sent back in time, but they live. And they send him, like, a note telling about, like, how they're okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, because, but... Yeah, he can find them and bring them back. Anyway, we're getting off topic. Wait, yeah, what, stop being a die, bitch. Shut up, you. I'm confused. <laughs> I want to know, though. So no, research it on your own time. They killed that one guy, though. So, um, I'm talking to uh, Gregory. Do you guys have any more missions for us, other than looking for the um, lab? I mean, you can try to go into the catacombs. What's in the catacombs? I mean, we don't Cats know. Comes. That's the point. More shadows. <laughs> You tell us, so... <laughs> Alright, do, 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 do you guys want... Running. Do you guys want to, um... Go into the catacombs now, or do you want to search somewhere else for employment? You could also, you know... This isn't from the Mages Guild, but, uh... When Bruce goes back to the Refugees Guild... Somebody would probably be like, we could always work on trying to take down the Cardic Empire. <laughs> <laughs> the answer to one might be in the other. Rather hard for the cards to control the people if the people can get out. Well, either way, uh, the cards are not making life easy for anyone here, so... Yeah got charisma card for the day today. The joy of authoritarianism. Yep. 
we have all the nice things and you guys don't you can mm. deal with it. Yeah. We'll give you table scraps. <laughs> <laughs> You'll give us what? Table scraps. Table scraps. Okay. Or you guys could buy yourself a house. Who knows? How much does this cost? You don't know. You haven't inquired. Probably more than we have right now. I'll ask Gregory. Uh, Gregory, how much do houses cost? Houses uh, shouldn't cost anything. You just have to go and fill out the documents, and uh, they'll pick out one of the ones that doesn't have tenants, and you'll have to, or they'll give you an area where you can stake your claim, and then uh, you go and set up your house. I mean, if It'll be empty. If that's the case, then why does everybody have a house? Because people want to live where there's already people living. Because huh. it's too dangerous on the end. Uninhabited houses are on the fringe of unpopulated areas. Hmm. Yeah. So we can have a house if we want to. That's what Weto was doing. He got a house out in the unpopulated areas so he could be by himself Dude, work on up to me. We should move in with that Weto. That guy seems cool. I mean, you can. He can do to. Aldi's gonna turn down three women and ask him to live with them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm actually in a good spot for, for my character. I, I she, she would be more interested in staying close to that library. Yep. And I think everyone else is happy too. Just not you. But we should probably think about uh, ending just so we don't get too far into it without Shad. Yeah, okay. Since, well, and you it's, know, yeah, it's, it's getting almost, later. It's 12.30 here. Yeah, so it's like uh, we got a decent amount of story and stuff gone into, and then, you know, I don't want to just get so far into it without him even being in the campaign yet. Are we really getting that far? I mean, we progress a lot faster than the last time I went through it. Oh, okay. Um, how much experience did we get? Probably a lot. Oh, how much... Are we doing, um... What, what speed of experience are we doing? I, do. I don't do speeds. <laughs> so, there's three different... There's three different, uh, numbers that, that it, it would involve, basically. Yeah. So I gotta know which number to use for the start of fourth level. Well, I only know normal speed. <laughs> okay, there's... Uh, so it's the slow it's one? medium. Medium? Yeah, I played mostly 3.5. So okay, okay. I didn't know there were different speeds. Oh, okay. Uh, what, what would level 4 be? Start at level 4. Let's see. It'd be whatever the uh, player handbook says for the leveling. To level? How much it takes to level? Yeah. Okay, so if we're level four and we're medium, it's we have nine thousand right now. It's, it's an explosion. Yeah, so we start with nine thousand. Fifteen thousand. Yeah. That's how I've always done it. All right. I think it's myth weavers and everything's automated, so you just put your whatever level you are, it'll tell you what the next one is. All right. So let's go over all the things accomplished. Okay. <coughs> you guys got here got your alliances, you, uh, frickin', I mean, you guys made a little bit of money doing side stuff. A little? <laughs> I'm talking about your jobs, not yes. your quests. And then you, uh... I was just getting used to life, job. I guess you did the investigation, you almost got into a fight with Auric, ended up not doing that. <laughs> Feel free to step in and give me more stuff that you guys did. I spun a sign. Yeah, and that's part of jobs. Went into the wall. You guys investigated things in the wall. Yeah. Yeah. We found. No, that's about it. We yeah. dealt with that shadow and ran away. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> dealing with well, it. Well, we kind <laughs> of investigated our environment and learned of, learned about the place. Yeah, we took about that skull and Hannah drew, gave her her doodles. Yeah, there was like we did. It was kind of like in a fight averted. I suppose. Yeah. 
All right. I'll give you 1,200. 1,200 against me? Yeah. Okay. Is that not good enough? No, that's <laughs> fine. You got a problem with that? I'm from a lot of things. The is fine. What's your problem, Bruce? Well, I deserve to be level a thousand. Well, he he did do that side mission. Yeah, I mean, does he no. does he not get more experience for that? Nah, I see. He's probably gonna get like I don't know an extra hundred experience. Right. Oh yeah, I did. We I technically did fight the machine. Hundreds fine. Yeah. Did you rage against the machine? No, he I went or ran away from. The <laughs> I ran away from it. Because that's how I fight. I run. There you go. Well, that's a good way of fighting. You think you live to fight mm. another day? Well, that's that's what I designed my character for. She's a fortune teller. That's pretty much all she does. Mm. <laughs> she reads minds. She can sometimes tell the future, and then she mostly just runs. I have shocking yeah. behavior. Mm. And you zippity zap things with your finger. Didn't work well against the plan, but otherwise it didn't, it was okay. <laughs> so, how does everyone feel about the campaign? It's good, I like it. It's a pretty neat campaign. It's intriguing. Hmm, there's a lot of things that I'm interested in. I don't know what to do. <laughs> that is usually the problem with a more open-ended campaign, yeah. where there's lots of different things you could do. It's just thinking, I'm trying to just, like, uh, differentiate, like, what my character would do. Yeah. The I overarching arching goal is escape but you know there's plenty of other things to hit on like overthrowing the government yeah overthrow the government just researching the escape plan investigating ruins you know doing random odd jobs for people being a thief there will, there will be other things that present themselves later so we'll kick Obama out of the uh, card federation and take over oh no He's not black. Leto's <laughs> black, though. Oh, he is? Cool. Is he? Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> it's Peter's old character. Oh, really? Peter yep. Black? Yeah, Peter yeah Peter's, Peter's black. black. Okay. Didn't you say he was, like, the whitest black person you knew? He is the whitest black person. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know, but I can't. I can't. I'm already dedicated to uh, Gaz. I have to. We have to be lesbians together. This is our future. Yeah, we don't want to need any of those penis creatures. Yeah. <laughs> you all together. You're a martial person, and I buff marshals. Yep. Yeah, I haven't decided whether my character's gay or straight. <laughs> Mine does whatever to survive. Cooch to cooch. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess uh, that's that, and I hope I have been a good DM. You're fine. Hopefully, Shad will uh, show up next time. You want a poo hole? And maybe you guys could uh, fill him in on things if you want. Nope. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, we'll find out as he goes. If we include him. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What? Uh, we usually to run a campaign every other week, so it's not every week. Okay. So since we'll we're since we're figure out when you're uh, ready to do it, then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was just gonna say, um, you know, since our schedule is sporadic, I think it would be easier to continue to do it every other week. All right. Well, you just let me know what days you have free on the day on the week that you want to do it, and uh, I'll figure it out. All right. Cool. All right, well, have a good night, then. All right, see ya. Good night. See ya. It was nice meeting you. It was good meeting you, too. Bye. Nice to meet you, too, Gage. Shut up, you. <laughs>